or uh, I don't think I'm ready. Let's get all these audios feeling good. Alrighty. We are back. Let's very unorganized. I just set a time and I'm sticking to it. I'm five minutes late, my apologies. Okay, so tweets done. Bada bing. Bada boom. Let's uh, crack open the old photoshops. So I'll let a few people roll in. Let me know if all the audios sort of uh, working. If you could, that'd be lovely. CMG, welcome back, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Let us, so, bit of marketing. Let's throw on something while I'm chatting. That's a little bit more interesting than just a blank canvas. There we go. It's good. Beautiful. Music's not too loud. It's not all uh, intrusive. Now, I'm missing my bloody Arg illustrations. Welcome. Aha. Uh -huh. Got the uh, the old boxing glove in a in a glove, which I'm to help it slide smoothly. All right. So how have you all been doing? Feels like ages. Whoop. Feels like ages since I've uh, already done with one of these. I only missed last week. Reason being, I'm working on my first YouTube video, which some of you might have might already know. It's not out just yet, but I've uh, I've been smashing it out, working through figuring out editing for YouTube, which is a whole other ordeal. Ash Blue, hey hey, welcome, great to see you. Uh, where's my pen tablet? Because it's not on the right. Pen tablet. Pen tablet. Thank you very much. Screen. Let's chuck it on the correct screen. All right. Now we're, now we're ready. Arg Illustration has been doing well. Make any progress on backgrounds. Yeah, look, I finished the, um, uh, The Last of Us. Which is good. Um, there's a lot I want to get into with backgrounds, which I'm looking forward to. Particularly in the style of Rob Rappel. Love his stuff. It's fantastic. So a lot of uh, a lot of studies ahead, which is going to be good. Um, what was I talking about? Can't remember. Uh, something to do with YouTube editing, blah blah blah. But basically, in this one today, right? For those of you that are that are tuning in, feel free to uh, draw along, paint along. So I'm going to. I was contacted by Character Design Quarterly, which is pretty cool. And they said, "Hey, look, we're doing this uh, prompt." thing do you want to create a little tutorial for us i was like hell yeah i want to create a little tutorial for you so but i said hey look can i stream the thing so i can share the process while i'm doing it and they're like yeah go for it so this is what we're working on today i might start this off as kind of like a season like a series I think Fortnite season one so the prompt is in the description so it's thief woodland surprise right so they gave me a bunch of different options i'm uh i'm gonna go with that so 
that's going to be interesting so thief woodland surprise i should put that somewhere actually on the screen itself but that's all right we'll, there'll be questions later and i'll uh and i'll pop them i'll fix it I'll, I'll fix it later but yeah so that's the uh the idea for this stream so it might actually just it's going to be a lot of planning and and trying to figure out okay what do we what do we want our character to be figuring out story as well which can really really help um with like inventing characters because it's very easy just to do like a three quarter well not very easy but like just to do like a three quarter head right there's no real emotion there it's just like cool okay technically it looks correct but where's the story right so that's where i would really like us to go down more exploratory uh go down a more more exploratory uh way of doing things which will be good and hopefully at the end of this season i don't know if this, i don't know how the seasons work I, I literally just thought of it two seconds before i posted it and i'm like that sounds good so we might change the name working title but uh yeah we'll uh we'll have some fun regardless so I'm, i wonder what the best way to do <laughs> that's all right that's all right we'll figure it out later Roger, right, yeah, welcome welcome ah no no worries you go have your class and pop in later if you want but if not it's going to be recorded it's going to stay on youtube no stress whatsoever appreciate you popping in anyway taylor good to see you good to see you hope hope you and the family have been doing well all right i was also making a little uh i was playing around with making a little photoshop script um last night as well which is kind of fun something a little bit different so let's get our sketch brush um ba -ba -ba -ba. Drawing box, and away we go. All right, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll share what I was working on with that that little script a bit later on. But our prompt for today is Thief Woodland Surprise. Okay, so I guess I'll just prompt equals Thief. Can you even see that? Yes, you can. Thief Woodland Surprise. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. What are some of the, the things that sort of come to mind? I'm thinking Little Red Riding Hood, like wolves and that sort of stuff. I want to get past some of that, like fairly quickly, because it's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's the obvious choice. I don't know. Um, for one, I don't know where my music's going. Thank you very much. Let's uh, turn that back on. All right. So yeah, there's like obvious things, right? You've got, like I'm thinking wolf, something where he's like smiling and being all like, ha ha ha. And he's like surprising. Yeah, not, not down with that personally. Let's think about uh, something else, all right? I want it to be playful. I don't want it to be like serious. It could be something, so some things that are springing to mind. So woodland, like obviously like trees, nature, blah, 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 all that sort of good stuff. Thief, all right, so are we stealing? Who is the thief? Who's our protagonist in this? Could be an alien, all right? Could be like a... 
we're thinking like a UFO, maybe. I don't know. Uh, improving lots haven't caught you uh, on a live in forever. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, I missed last week. I missed last week. It feels like forever since I've done a live, but it's only been like a week, uh, a week or two. But now I'm doing good to hear. Good to hear, and I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Yeah, exactly. Immediately thinking Robin Hood, but I don't. I, I don't think that's the way to go. I reckon. Um, Arg illustrations. Is the thief being surprised or delivering the surprise? Very good question. They've literally just given me three words, right? Three words to go off of. So fuck knows what we're going to do with them, but hopefully exploring this. And I'm kind of new to this as well, right? So these sort of prompt challenges. I don't have a, a particular process that I'm working with, so this could be a, a fun exploration for all of us. Let's, all right, so maybe, ah, uh, UFO, okay. Thief, Woodland, Surprise. Hmm. So, so then we've got alien. The vibe I want it to be like pretty light. I don't want it to be like a serious sort of thing. I mean, we could just be just throwing down ideas quickly. It could be like an alien going to take something and then being scared by a woodland creature. Right, so it's like examining something. I've got no idea. So like alien thief. So I'm thinking we do this like just these words to start with. Natalia, welcome. I always manage to watch your lives after you post it. First time I managed to watch you live. Well, welcome. Great timing, hey? Could be a... Mr. Tendy, welcome. Abby, could be a thief being scared by an alive tree like in Zelda or Wizard of Oz. That's a very cool thing. So we've got like trees. Okay, so alive question big question okay so alien thief alive scare i've got no idea what i'm doing to be perfectly honest with you <laughs> all right I, I personally my instinct is to just get sketching all right so let but i, I want to i want to get better all right i don't want to just go into my comfort zone so this is way out of my comfort zone so alien, alien thief, trees, nature, alive. All right, so maybe just do like a little sketch of like a tree, all right, that's alive. We've got UFO. I kind of want it to be funny in a way as well. Uh, like just like a little like clever in a sense <laughs> CMG that just sounds funny um, an alien ferret hmm interesting but we still want to keep in mind like thief woodland surprise so it's like surprise so someone's going to be like what or they're about to be surprised so it doesn't have to be the at the point of the surprise it could be like right behind like right before or right after whatever we want to do uh 
uh, an alien ferret. Uh, hey Ben, what brush do you use to sketch with? So this one here is the Kyle's draw box in the mega pack that comes with Photoshop. Uh, it's the Animator Pencil 2016. I've recently just been playing around with this and it's quite nice. Highly recommend. Uh, could, oh, could be an A, oh, Lumberjack. Good one, good one, good one. I love this, crowdsourced ideas. Lumberjack. Is, yeah, there, is there like a connection between, oh, that would be cool. That, that could be interesting. Ooh, these are good. These are bloody good ideas. Uh, Ramon, welcome from Mexico. Great to have you. Yeah, something they stole from each other. Okay, I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing some stuff in my mind's eye. So we've got like some sort of alien. But I don't want it to be like a typical, I want it, I want it to have a little bit of my style on it. I don't just want to do the typical, like, big old, you know. So there's, like, some sort of alien here. Then we got, like, a lumberjack, so he's, like, a big burly bloke. Alright, so we got this. Okay, something between those two maybe? Who knows? Yeah, CMGs <laughs> made, me, <laughs> made me giggle. <laughs> uh, IG recommended me one of your reels and I fell in love immediately. I appreciate it, Ramon. Appreciate it, that means a lot. Hey, hey, welcome. can't read your your name but hello welcome with the uh, the red avatar kawa kawa uh elf surprised by an alien thief stealing wildlife i was thinking something like that like I would, yeah, there's an, there's an interesting visual of like, so we know like aliens, they like probe. Well, okay, maybe not. That's not, I don't want to do that kind of drawing. But uh, like they abduct, that's the word. Let's not draw probing bloody aliens. That's a, that's another YouTube channel altogether. Maybe that's an OnlyFans, who knows. So we got alien abduct. Abdu I can't. I can't spell. That's all right. Abduct. Wildlife. I almost see like a visual of like an alien here. He's sort of got like a some someone's baby or something like a baby bear or a baby rabbit or something. But then he's like surrounded by like a bunch. Of sort of wildlife that's not too happy. Now I'm giving myself a big bloody task if that's the one I'm gonna go with. But something, I don't know, something around that of duck wildlife. Yeah, that's a good one, Taylor. Stealing a cow. I don't know if that's woodland though. We want to we want to sort of keep to the brief. Um, yeah, there's so many. I just want to get out all the of my head, all the sort of the obvious ideas, right? Ah, 
Okay. I mean, here I'm just I'm just sort of getting visuals in my head at the moment of like. So we've got them both sort of back to back. He's still like this lumberjack. Sort of looking this way, this alien's looking this way, but then they bump into each other. I don't know. Oh, arg illustrations, flipping it, on, flipping it on his head. Interesting. Uh, Ramon, great to have a chance uh, to see you in action and still knowledge. I mean, learn from the best, still away. Because to be perfectly honest, I got no idea what I'm doing right now. So still all you want. Um, it could be an alien and a lumberjack standing on both sides of a tree about to realize there's someone next to them. Kind of a before the... Oh yeah, it, there you go. Before I read, this is kind of the vibe I was looking for. Well, that just popped into my head. Right? I think the fun part of this is going to be uh, getting the reference right so like from other artists different ideas looking up the word woodland uh but an alien stealing some rabbits and squirrels yeah there's also this other idea of maybe got like an alien I'm liking the alien thing right so maybe you see like oh I turned the music browse let's go something hip-hop that'll do and away we go so then we've got this alien like looking to take something right he's stealing something but then you got this guy someone behind him that he doesn't realize yet like whether it be a bear or It's kind of just like, okay, what do you think you're doing? I don't know. That's like an idea. I don't like the composition of this. Or we can be clever about it, where like we can think about um different directions so i'm seeing maybe right this is a generic ass bloody alien but that's okay just for now then he's like all like uh -huh -huh, i'm going to get to you whatever it is but then in the background here. Now, I'm okay, now I've chosen woodland. I don't know how to draw creatures really. So that's going to be a... This looks like freaking Totoro at the moment. <laughs> some sort of angry 
wolf maybe i don't know but something that's like sitting behind the alien i don't know kind of weird i don't hate it i want it to be more playful though it seems a little bit dark kind of <laughs> stealing children Uh, Ramon, what's the name of the game? So this game we're playing is we've got three words and we've got to make something look cool. <laughs> working title, but basically, yeah, Thief Woodland Surprise is what we're uh, working with today. And probably for subsequent streams because I've got to get... The deadline for this is the 31st of March. Yeah, so before then, and, I've, and March is pretty busy for me, so I've got to get it done. Frenchy, Frenchy, welcome. Just saw uh, on the, your stories. That was looking great. Really, really good stuff. Have you seen the Disney short film Lifted? It's about an alien that is learning how to abduct his first human. And it's <laughs> that's cool. That's a very that's very cool. Well, that's an idea. So I'm literally what on earth is all this garbage? I'm literally thinking, like things are just popping into my head right now. So I could even... So I've got like this lumberjack maybe. That's being like lifted off. Into the sky. Like he's ch uh, chopping down a tree and like his axe is like floating his ha hard hats floating as well so like we can have some fun there all right so something along with those lines I wouldn't mind challenging myself to uh, add a bit of a background as well because I'm trying to learn how to do background. So maybe even just like a little motif or a little whatever they call it, like a little crop or some sort of background to give some context. I don't know. could be cool. You just got to ask what would an alien want to steal? Very true. Very true. Oh my God, an alien stealing Winnie the Pooh's honey. <laughs> That'd be cool. Except for you got the copyright of Winnie the Pooh. Actually, no, hold on. There was, there was one that just came into Creative Commons or like, free whatever it is like public domain was it winnie the pooh it was, it was something else maybe mm. no it was winnie the pooh because they made that horror film about it so that's an option but i think that's kind of a i don't know i want to keep it original original Plus, it's for a publication, so I don't know if I want to be messing around with those kinds of, like, questions and discussions and blah, blah, blah. I just sort of keep it simple. Public domain, baby. Uh, Sarah G, welcome. So, the word challenge is literally three words. Thief, woodland, surprise, and we've got to create something out of it. So, I'm just doing some ideation at the moment. Just having a play. 
Um, we might even shoot some reference of myself, like in different scenarios, like with different expressions and everything like that. I think that could be kind of cool. Now, I don't know how they would how they would feel about me actually creating a sketch note about this whole process. I'll have to have a chat with them because that could be kind of cool. But then we can do an, another one afterwards and I'll do my own sketch note of that because there's going to be a tutorial in their magazine. And we can even have... Some in the background, stealing other lumberjackies. I don't know. Uh, Ramon Alien stealing a baby bear instead of a baby human, a mama bear. Uh, muy angry and ready to kick that alien's butt red eyes for mama bear yeah that's what i was sort of going for here something like that maybe something like this we got to think about okay what's the alien got to be we don't want it to be like nefarious or like really dark we want it to be kind of i don't know i want it to i want it to feel like this like it's a little like scene so sorry, we got someone popping in to the house. Um, yeah, I like the feel of this. I don't know if this is the the idea. So we could have. I like the lumberjack angle, personally. I like it. I'm leaning towards. Yeah, I'm leaning towards the kind of stealing. So it's like here the alien's stealing a human. In this one, the alien could be stealing like the... Yeah, the animal. I mean, it could, it could even be like a cute kind of thing where it's like a baby... is like doesn't know what's going on and it's kind of like looking at it the alien kind of like cutely like oh hey what's going on and then behind you've got the mum that's just like um excuse me the fuck you think you're doing we've got to make it clear that it's like an alien that's like it's like a cute alien as well, so I kind of want it to be... I don't know. So I've got a... Got this book as well, which could help with bloody... Like... Go away. Which could help with animals. So that could be fun. But I would like to have a human in there as well. Uh, stealing a flower. Maybe a deer was surprised. That's a yeah, yeah, deer is another one. So we'll come up here, trees, nature, so we've got deer. What else we got? Like Yeah, like rabbits. I'm making it easier myself if I'm doing all these animals that I've never bloody done before. But we shall do it anyway. Hello from Iran. 
Hello, Abbas. Welcome. A bear stealing the alien spaceship. <laughs> That's good. That could be cool. Woodland. So what is that? Yeah, wood, thief woodland surprise. So if there's a way to show... All right, hold on. I'm just going to throw this idea down. I don't know what this animal is. Maybe it's like a baby bear or something. I don't know. And then it's holding it. And then the mum's like angry. Um, yeah, what if the bear is like... Maybe it's like a, in the distance kind of. Almost... You know how like bears, uh, you see them in like trailers sometimes in like me, like uh, like videos online, how they just like crawl into stuff and crawl through windows and that kind of thing. We could have like maybe the spaceship kind of parked. Uh, Uh, this is a very generic buddy spaceship. But then you've got like a bear kind of walking up into the spaceship while in the foreground you've got like this guy trying to figure out where he's looking to go. I don't know. This is like super, super sketchy. But yeah, then that'd be an issue of like hierarchy. How would we show that this is the a thing that's happening? Again, I've got freaking no clue what I'm doing right now. So let's explore. We can have like the pine trees in the background or something. He's figuring out on his little tablet. Where is he trying to go? Then you got this like. But isn't it? Is that thief? It's not, it's kind of like stumbling upon, right? And no one's really surprised. I mean, he's going to be surprised, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Another idea? Get him out, that's fine. Hey, <laughs> that's a very, that's a very specific tailor. <laughs> An alien with one leg stealing a prosthetic leg from a lumberjack. Uh, Beniad. Hello, Ben. You inspired me to start stylizing art. Thank you. My absolute pleasure, my friend. That's freaking awesome. Stylization is so fun. Alfie. Hi Alfie, how you doing man? Uh, the bear could be sticking them up with pine, with a pine cone. <laughs> okay. That's, I like that. Like, so there's something about that, like in the alien not knowing what anything is. Yeah. That could be cool. So it's like, okay, pine cone. Or like a stick of some sort. And it's literally just a stick. You 
It could be even like to show that he's taking something. It might not even be as nefarious to say like a... I think it could be like a leaf or something. That is... Like he's kind of capturing... in like this device just so it's like okay cool he's actually like stolen something it doesn't have to be big it could be like all right he's taken this thing this this alien i don't know maybe Mark of Art. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Ben and friends. Uh, art illustration. Alien stole something and was going back to his spaceship and was surprised by the animals messing with it. Yeah, we've only got one illustration though. So we've got to try and show that in one, uh, in one image, which could be tricky. I think we might have to like look at like different references of like even movies and that kind of stuff. I don't know how we go about that on stream, but maybe like screenshots potentially. Oh, okay, squirrel. I like that squirrel acorn because we know how like nuts they are about acorns, right? That's like their thing. That's like a little homage to Ice Age. I don't even know what an acorn really looks like, but just from memory. We've got like an acorn. Maybe the acorn is in this little container. Maybe we've got like a squirrel. Never seen a squirrel in real life before. So this is all just going off of what I've seen on TV. <laughs> like maybe you've even got like the alien. Like examining. I hate how generic I've gotten these, these aliens, but it's just the first sort of whatever. And it looks like Spider-Man or oh, whatever. Because I got an acorn. Right, he's like examining it. But then from behind, you've got like a squirrel about to like karate chop the shit out of him. So he's like holding this. Sort of class container examining it and then in the background you've got this like little fluffy bugger about to just wreak havoc on him that could be funny that's like a funny sort of thing but he's kind of been done before not like I'm looking to change the game you know but it's like he was just like ah I don't even know what if screws have ears do they I don't know I have to, I have to look it up he's got like a stick and he's about to just destroy his alien So it's like woodland. All right, so we've got that theme. We've got the acorn, we've got thief. And then this guy's coming out of nowhere.
this guy is just coming in going freaking but it's kind of like yeah it's like that ice age little screw i don't want to be like derivative of that but it'd be funny see how little I know how to draw squirrels <laughs> I got no idea what I'm doing <laughs> but it'll do the idea is there so you got the that kind of thing that could be kind of funny Wade, sup man, what did I miss? We're doing a challenge, a three word challenge. I can't even remember what it is. Woodland, thief something, thief woodland surprise. So we're trying to come up with story at the moment to start with. My inkling is to just go jump straight into drawing, but we're, uh, we want to think about story and, and get something kind of cool. It takes a time. It's not just going to happen overnight. A small alien, ste alien uh, stealing acorns from a squirrel storage inside a, inside a tree. Squirrel catches him. Yeah, that's the thing. How do we capture that moment that he catches him? Uh, Brian Matrix. Hey, Ben, how you doing, my friend? Uh, just came here to say hi. I'm doing well, Brian. I'm doing well. How you doing? Great to have you here. Oh, mum. Everybody, I'd like to introduce you to the famous Cheryl from a few streams ago where you guessed her name. Cheryl Eblin in chat, that is my mum. Hey mum, how you doing? Uh, there's no squirrels in Australia. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, wait, Ben, what the frick here? I know, it's, it's, it's a bit of a different one. Um... Alien mugging a squirrel with a blaster like Marvin the Martian. Yeah, it could be. That's a kind of that's an interesting one. So it's like the squirrels, like maybe. Hands up. And he's like sort of got his gun pointed at the screw or something I don't know I'd like to have a human in there or like a more human I guess the alien could be humanoid potentially ah uh, good to hear Brian I really just want to get drawing <laughs> and like well, I mean I am drawing at the moment but just like understanding the characters we, we need the story we need the story and it's something i'm trying to get better at because i'm not uh it, it's not something i've worked a ton on so i'm just trying to yeah try and figure it out <laughs> uh is courtney with your mum All right, I like this vibe, I like this woodland cross with like this nature cross with tech, which could be a nice. Sort of a mix. I like the look of this, though. This feels fun to me. But I like the story of like thief stealing something and being caught 
Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Let's have a look where we got to. We've got UFO, alien, alien, thief. Trees, nature's lumberjack, rabbit, deer. Is the wildlife alive? Maybe. Abducting wildlife. You've got like angry mama bear or angry. That's like pretty typical. You would understand that. Oh, these dogs, I tell you what. I'm doing my freaking head in. Yeah, abducting wildlife. I think we could, yeah, we could. Could we even do like a mutant squirrel? Where he's like, oh, maybe, yeah, okay, maybe the, the scale of the alien. Okay, 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 okay. So the scale, so you say you've got like a squirrel is like this tall in real life. Right? Maybe we've got the alien like this tall. And he's like picking up the acorn and placing it in his thing. But this guy's like buff. He's just like, uh uh, not having it. He's like, this guy hits the gym on the regular. So it's like we play with scale. Or maybe the squirrel's like huge. Maybe it's like giant. So like we're playing with that kind of like big, medium, small kind of kind of thing. I think Ahmed Outdoor is actually coming out with a composition course at some stage. Be chatting to a Christian about it. I think I might take that actually, because I want to get better at comp yeah. Because composition is kind of like well, fucking. It's I can figure it out I guess, but it, it probably not as as well as I could get it if I knew what I was doing, and I could get there a lot more efficiently as well. So yeah, maybe you've got. It's like way different from the stuff that I'd usually do. So I don't know if I want to skew too far away from that. So I'd like to have human in like, I don't know what a squirrel body looks like. Almost like a dog, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah mum's on stream. I think she might've, she might've nicked off. She may be still there. Maybe the alien has a levitation gun rather than being uh, a UFO. Interesting. Interesting. Framed Ink is a great book for composition. Oh, nice one. I've heard of that. I'm going to pick that up. Thank you, Arg. Or ARG. Clarence, welcome. How you doing, my friend? Okay, so levitation. I like that. Keyword. Levitation. So we had the levitation here. Maybe if I want to, okay, let's let's get a new. Uh, do we want a new or yeah? Let's let's get a new thing in the bob. Custom. Okay. So I just want to quickly 
throw this here. And as we do more of these, the more interesting they're going to get, I'm sure. But yeah, maybe instead of the, the, the UFO, right? Yep, I like that. So it's more humanoid. We can have a play around with like poses and that kind of thing. So instead of this one, come on, select it, you bastard. All right. Instead of that, we can have like a little alien fella in the foreground. Does not look like an alien, but that's all right. We you get the idea. We've got like the levitation gun. Then we can still add the UFOs in the background. That seems more interesting to me, I think. And we can still have fun with this lumberjack guy, like his expressions and like, what the frick is going on? We can even have some fun with like effects maybe, with like how he's levitating and how this like distorts the background or something. All right, that's cool. Good call, good call. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Stepping out of my comfort zone with this stuff, which is good. Uh, what's another one that I, I like? I want to get these kind of cleaner. A person to look up. Maggie Appleton. I absolutely love her the way that she illustrates uh, just things and objects. She's mainly in the tech space. Uh, and that's how I found her because she was illustrating ideas for uh, like programming concepts and that kind of thing. But I want to draw inspiration from her, her way of like drawing props and that kind of thing. It's sort of just this sparked that idea of her. So Thief Woodland Surprise. Yeah, I'll grab this one maybe. This one was interesting. Yep. This one here, bada bing. I'm just clearing up our thinking a little bit. We got some ideas here. Um, 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 um. Yeah, we can maybe do this one as an idea. Let's merge all these down. Shaban. Kiziev. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Uh, Kyle Thompson, can I make something out of clay that you pick? No. I refuse. I do not consent to the making of clay. Of any character. That, of course you can. What kind of question is that? As long as you tag me and you let me know. Because I'd, I'd love to see it. Just for the pure fact of me checking it out. So of course you can, Kyle. Go nuts. Okay, got this idea, sort of pissed off squirrel. Uh, what should I make then? Well, my friend, look, that's up to you. All right, Mark. I'll uh I'll see you later on. 
Yeah, look, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm liking this. This kind of vibe. It feels pretty fleshed out. I don't want to spend a bloody month of Sundays doing this either. So I want to, I want to get it a nice cadence to it. I don't really. I, w I want to work on efficiency uh, with this sort of stuff because I think The Last of Us took too long. It didn't need to take that long. Mind you, streaming because I'm talking like this is not the most efficient way of doing illustrations and getting like getting stuff out there. But I find it fun. So it's like, well, what are you, what are you gonna do? Um, but okay, Kyle. So can I make something out of clay that you pick? Uh, yeah, I've not picked anything yet, but maybe the, the alien's head. There you go. When we if we go down the alien route, try and do the alien's head. <clears throat> Kizio says, I don't know English well. The next day I'll watch uh, a recording with your answers to me. Uh, subtitles help me. Oh, fantastic. Uh, Kyle, I made a bear. Okay, cool. Go go and uh, go down the bear. I might not be doing a bear, but that's all right. Now we could even replace. Uh, I do want. The, I do like the lumberjack guy though. I do like the idea of the lumberjack because I can see this being vibrant. I can see his like red or blue, like clothing, against maybe like a more green background with this nice wood, colored wood, <laughs> right? Like with logs and this kind of thing. So there's like a whole whole thing going on here. Is it easy? Is it the easy choice? I don't know. I mean, you got a fucking alien levitating him up. So it's like, what? Like, and then we've got an opportunity for a bit of a motif back. I think it, I think I'm saying motif right. I don't know if I'm saying motif right, but like a little something in the background here, where they're like picking things up. It's like they're harvesting. And it's like woodland, so it kind of fits. I feel. I I don't know. I don't want to jump the gun too early, though. I do not want to jump the gun too early. Oh. Also, I'll show you. I, I might. Uh, I'll mention. Uh, Black Jam, Lumberjack, <laughs> Lumberjack Beaver. <laughs> Maybe he's like transforming him into something else. I don't know. This is the fun of it. We can do whatever the hell we want. This is why I find this so fun. Uh, Mum. Hey, Benny. Can't wait to see how this turns out. We'll be back soon. Got to pick up uh, Courtney. Love you. Love you too, Mum. Thanks for popping in. Everyone say bye to Mum. Okay. Let's have a look. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I might just go with it. I might just roll with this oh am i jumping the gun am i jumping the gun who knows i don't know take the risks take the risks it is what it is it's a gamble it's a gamble of being too on the nose but that's all right uh Kizif, i live in south australia right down the bottom all right so you got australia i don't even know if that's correct but you know what i mean you got australia you got tasmania i live down in the bite of australia the southern part good old adelaide <laughs> everyone can call her mum there you go you give you got my permission uh, I love how she calls you uh, Benny and I love uh, how supportive she is. I strive to be this supportive with my daughter. 100%. Yeah, she's fantastic. She's the best. Uh, Arg illustrations. Uh, run with the idea, but try some compositions and thumbnails. Love it. Love it. ARG. That is what I'm going to do. I need to try because that was my issue with um, The Last of Us. I jumped straight into it. I was just like, yeah, let's just get the likeness in a particular way and then just sort of shoehorned it in it ended up okay at the end i reckon it could have been a lot better and i'm going to do some more of those the last of us things i think because it's an interesting uh sort of story and all that sort of stuff so let's save this and let's start thumbnailing uh save to cloud when will i not want to save to cloud photoshop i just want to sit down with the team photoshop team and just like look guys here's my 
Not like I know everything, but it's just like, please fix these things. Um, 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 um. What is it? Wild. What? No, woodlands, not wildlife. Woodlands. Uh, surprise. Thief. Stream. There we go. All right. Oh, then I should really save this. Actually, we'll just take this, throw this efficiency into here and just call this archive. All right. Let's throw it. I'm sick of watching my face. Let's, um, yeah, let's throw it to here. Bigger screen. <coughs> I will make uh, a VR headset. Cool. Nezuko, welcome, welcome. Kizyaf, I know the stereotypes that you have uh, snakes crawling in your toilets and huge spiders everywhere, and you also eat kangaroos. That is exceptionally... Yes. <laughs> yep. That's pretty much it. Not in the toilet. I don't know. I don't live in the outback, so I don't have a bloody uh, snakes in the toilet because it's just in the other room in a house in the suburbs. But... Uh, that happens. There was a big huntsman in here the other day, which I wish I was on stream. I mean, I didn't catch him because I got distracted, but he might pop his head up on stream again. No, a big, big old bloody huntsman spider about like, I don't know, like that, that big. They're harmless though. That huntsman spiders are, are nothing. They're, you don't hurt them, they don't hurt you. But uh, yeah, no, I eat kangaroo. It's, it's probably one of the, uh, actually the best sources. You know, I'm not looking to start a fucking uh, whatever you call it. Fucking. A nutrition or like a vegan debate or whatever, but because you can't legally farm them, you, they're not far. They're not like a farmed animal here. They're all out in the wild. So, from a health perspective, I think they're one of the best uh, meat sources you can actually get. And I think we're the only place, or one of the few places that actually eats our national animal, which is kind of weird, but. I have to be honest, I kind of miss your OC Frank. I'd love to see more content with him. Oh, you betcha there will be. I want to, uh, I was thinking about, you know how on YouTube videos, you've got like, um, this video is sponsored by blah, 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 blah. Well, I've got to do that for me to sort of run the business and everything. And I'll be like, this video is sponsored by me and my gum road and that kind of thing. But I want to actually have Frank do it. So we'll do it in the German accent. I'll be like, hello, Ben has gotten me to uh do the promo for his gum roll tutorials and like do it all in like frank's voice so it's not me doing it it's like it's like frank's promoting it um and just have him as just like as maybe like two or three variations of him in different um sort of uh like expressions which i think would be fun <laughs> yeah, no. Prime, welcome. Oh, wow. Kizzy, that's fascinating. I didn't know that. Uh, if you want to go with the square silhouette in the background, you should check out uh, Supja. Supja. Let's check out Supja. This is a this is not a a stream where it's super drawing like I'm not trying to make anything pretty. This is discovery. This is okay, so Instagram I'm assuming. Sapya 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 art, I'm a, I'm assuming. Ah nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yep. Yeah, that's a mo that's a motif that is very consistent here. 
That's cool. I like. I like. I like. So. I'll, uh, I th I'm not sure if I'm up this stage yet. I still want to get the idea down and maybe clean up some of these shapes. I know for a fact I want to get like Rob Ruppel. Ruppel. Ruppel? Rup I said it. I, I keep saying his last name fancy. Like Ruppel. But I think it's just like Ruppel. Um, his background style. So if we do do a bit of a background, I want it in his, like the way that he does his stuff. Like I want it to, in my style, but using some of his techniques. Um, I want it vibrant. I think my stuff is too muted at the moment. I want it to really bring up the vibrancy in the in the colors and that kind of stuff. Mind you, the, the subject matter like The Last of Us is kind of a little bit more like dark and whatever, but um, Kyle, bloody hell, you're quick. You finished the sculpture. Black jam uh, was a kangaroo uh, taste uh, tasty or not? Yeah, no, I like it personally. Um, it's good, but I'm very minimal with what I eat. I literally my my da I eat the same thing every day because I'm just trying to get in that habit of sort of health and all that sort of shit. It's literally chicken breast, um, sweet potato or some sort of veggies, oats, eggs. A little bit of fruit like berries and whatever protein shake and that's about it so i'm not really eating for taste very often <laughs> you know so because i've kind of muted all my taste buds kangaroo could taste fantastic to me but if you're used to like beef and that kind of stuff and like really nice things it might not be the the nicest thing but it's all how you like season it as well i guess you get like a nice garlic or um what is this turning it's turning into a bloody cooking show um but uh but yeah no i like it I, I really like it and knowing that it's like one of the healthiest meats you can have is also a positive as well oh yes no nah, fish as well fish as well it's just yeah I'm, i don't know i'm it's um yeah, it's just bloody expensive like salmon is probably the only thing if i go and i'll actually catch fish i'll go out with dad um and we'll catch some fish go out on the kayaks and uh and catch some fish that's probably usually apart from the odd salmon that i'll have here and there bloody love salmon it's just so expensive all right clarence Haven, do you have tips on retaining what we learn from studies like visual library and design um yeah, it's really going to be dependent on what it is. I would... Like, if you're learning something, right? I would... if And you're trying to... So, say with Rob's stuff, like Rob Rappel, Ruppel and his backgrounds. I might do a study of his, like a really quick study of even just like the corner of a building because his is like more like his is all background work right most most of the stuff that i've seen so i might just do like the corner of a building like how did he render the corner of this building then as fast as possible i'll be like okay cool i've got the techniques now i'm going to do it on my own building right so my building might be cylindrical or my building might have other things going on about it or it might just be a simple cube but the sooner that you can sort of give it yourself context, like get context uh, in regards to what you're using it for, that's going to help it stick a heck of a lot better, right? Instead of just copying, because basically what you've seen, like say if you just studied one of my works, right? Like if you just studied the Joel and Ellie one that I did recently, and you just studied that and you copied it one to one, you're getting the, maybe like 20%, if that, of what I was actually thinking about and the reasoning behind why I got to those decisions. So yes, doing copies and studies and that kind of thing is helpful, but it's not the full story. So I think trying to analyze things and put it in different scenarios. So say you might just take the lighting from The Last of Us uh, studies 
uh, like uh, the last of us illustration that i did take the lighting and put that on your your character you're going to learn a heck of a lot more by doing that versus just trying to copy one to one um like what i was what i was working on because you're only getting a, a small sliver of the story um in that case if that makes sense that's just my thoughts like studies are great i i, I like them they're nothing against them but yeah uh prime yeah we're doing a uh yeah i should really put this somewhere i mean it's in the description right give it, to give you some context of what we're working on but it's um oh, this i need to get a new one of these it's um woodland surprise thief is the three word prompt character design quarterly uh, reached out and wanted me to do a tutorial for them with that prompt i asked if i could stream it and here we are and it's something i think would be kind of cool to uh to do ongoing as well just like challenges helping helping me get better right so i'm just i'm trying to go really simple with my shapes here like we're really simple like what i want i want this guy to be like big and burly i'm not looking at any detail i might even this looks too generic like martian like But I also want it to be clear that it's an alien, so we might have this kind of dome. Kind of thing, but. And I feel like if this alien is. Like it's going to be a bit of a struggle. So I want him kind of. Like, yeah, to, to be in like a sturdy position. So it's going to be like humanoid, maybe. Being like a sturdy p position, but we can mess around with his proportions and stuff later. Just like simple, simple, simple shapes. I mean, this is probably too complex here. Simple shapes. Bam, bam. All right, so then he's chopping down this tree. Real simple, because the simpler we go with these shapes, the easier it's going to be to manipulate them down the road. All right, I get caught out all the time with going too, uh, too bloody detailed with stuff too soon. This will almost be like a. So you got the ray gun or whatever. That sort of comes over here. Could be an interesting kind of shape. Okay. What's another another way we could play with? Uh, I want him to this guy to be like terrified, but like a funny terrified, like how cronk would be like scared of something sort of thing so uh did rob rapport actually work on intergalactic yeah i think he did i think he did um have you been interested in the Atomic Heart game? If so, how do you like it? I think she's very beautiful. I've got no idea what that is. Um, my apologies, because you have... Uh, Black Jam, if you're going to study something, then immediately put it into practice if your uh, memory sucks. Yeah, even if your memory is fantastic, the learnings come from when you've got to struggle and try and put it in your own like context. Even if you've got the best memory in the world, th this isn't school, right? You're not trying to study for a test. This isn't like you've got to actually learn this shit. Because there's ways 
because I went like years ago I went into real deep study of like memory and looking at like memory champions and that kind of thing and um, there's a really good book called Moonwalking with Einstein like understanding mnemonics and and that kind of thing and my theory was like oh, okay if I can like remember everything that I read in a book then I'm going to be like so much smarter and like get ahead and da 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 da, da. but there's no point you memorizing shit if you're not going to use it like what are you even reading the book like I was asking the wrong question what are you even reading the book for in the first place is it just a vanity metric a vanity metric being just like a metric that you might say on social media or something or tell someone like oh I've read 10 books this week it's like who gives a fuck like why like so how much of that did you retain did you use any, any of the information or are you just sitting there like reading like it just doesn't matter so yeah I was kind of asking the wrong questions but you live you learn now if I in regards to reading I think of books as like just resources that you can pick up and put down at any time there's no beginning and end to it if I need to learn about marketing if I need to learn about a certain topic I'll pick up that a particular book on marketing like one that I'm I've always but then I've got my staples right so like this one's fantastic I've, I've got this on my desk right? the obstacle is away fantastic one by Ryan Holiday um is, yeah Ryan Holiday it's about like st stoicism and like how stuff's gonna go bad at some stage how do you use that and like when one door closes it's like cool all right we'll just take another path doesn't mean you just quit so yeah it's nice a really good one got a few of those staples This is a rambly kind of stream and I'm here for it. That's fine. Okay, so I want this guy to be like terrified. So if I play around with... So yeah, this guy in the foreground kind of feels cool, but we're gonna do some thumbnails. We're gonna do some more thumbnails, particularly in black and white uh, to get some values. I really wanna simplify these shapes, make them really, really readable. Um, maybe He's like kicking his leg out. He's like, so he needs to be surprised. Right? And he's like, what in the fuck is going on here? And he might be uh, uh, like, because he, here he almost looks like dead. He almost looks like knocked out. Like this is all just like, okay, I'm letting it happen. He needs to be surprised. And maybe we can have some fun. Like maybe we can have some like squirrels being like picked up just by accident. And they're just like, what? That could be cool. Oh, dad's joined. We got the whole family here. Next we just need Courtney to pop in. But everyone, John Eblen is my dad. Say hi. Uh, oh, I'm studying clothes, types of clothing, clothing and design. Oh, awesome, awesome. Uh, Adam, welcome back. Welcome back, Adam. It is uh, one fifteen p.m. for me. River, welcome, welcome. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> yes, you'll have permission to say to, to my parents call them Mum, call them Dad. Uh... <laughs> uh, this is fantastic. This is funny. Uh, Kizzy, if the game is from Russian developers, it's similar to Cyberpunk. The game is about the future with robots in cities in the air, but in comparison with Cyberpunk, the future is shown more positive. Oh, interesting. I have to check it out. Hi all, court will be home soon. Nice. Hey Toki, welcome, welcome. Good to see ya. Sorry, I 
back to the squirrel we can have this guy like what the hell is going on and this guy like reaching out maybe he's like let go of his this camera i tell you what, it keeps taking photos every what like half an hour god knows why it's why like i stutter like it, it stutters every time it frustrating the shit out of me So this guy's a little bit more concerned, which is good. Not perfect, but. So we'd still have, maybe he's like holding on. We could even, yeah, I wonder. We have like this tree trunk here. Is he like holding on to his axe because it's still in the in the tree or something? I don't know. I don't want to get it too involved with everything. And this could have like a double meaning, like the lumberjack's a thief, but then the aliens Stealing the lumberjack. Ooh, how deep. and debris and stuff maybe like logs start floating it's like a cool kind of visual Call me life for dead. Is that a dad joke that I don't understand? I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh man. When's dinner ready, Dad? <laughs> I love squirrels. There definitely has to be one squirrel. Yeah, I'm down with that. I'd be happy to see a porcupine, mate. Oh, interesting. Squirrels are my favorite animals. Squirrels, not much meat. No, definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> uh, Kizzy, do you think all your viewers are artists? I've got no idea. I have no clue. I'd imagine like a majority, but who knows? Uh, sugar beets. I always hang out with the squirrels, birds, and deer in my backyard. I would never eat them. <laughs> Uh, that's cool you hanging out with deer yeah I don't know if we got squirrels in Australia I don't think we do have squirrels in Australia you got turkeys in your backyard yeah maybe the squirrel can be holding on to I like that holding on to an acorn very cool Cause I do want to like figure out how to draw animals as well. That'd be like a cool little, uh, what do you call it? Like experiment, not experiment. Just like another thing in my artistic tool belt. So maybe he's like, he's got his little feet here and he's got his acorn and he's just like hugging it for dear life. This feels like something here, like there's actual movement to it. There's like, okay, he's holding on for bloody dear life. He doesn't want to be 
lift it up. But it's happening. And then maybe you've got like the trees in the background here, but then you've got maybe this guy's here. That's a nice little composition, I, th I think. I think it reads clearly. It's almost like he's fishing. And he's just caught one. He's caught a lumberjack. <laughs> Maybe he's looking over at him. Like, what the heck is going on here? I want to simplify it down though a little bit. I saw a hawk fly away with a squirrel the other day. It was sad. It's both sad and happy. That hawk could be feeding its babies. You never know. Toki, I usually see uh, two cans in my backyard. What? Two cans? The only thing that I know from a two can, all the Australians that are watching now, uh, you remember like the two can ice blocks? That's the only time I've ever seen a two can in cartoon form. Oh, and on Fruit Loops as well, I think. Yeah, two cans then. Uh, general question do you think artists on the internet treat each other well is it a friendly community i think it's just like anywhere else you're gonna have fuckheads right but and then it's just up to you who you let in your circle right it's the internet so you're gonna get some absolute assholes uh just regardless no matter how generally good the uh, industry is as a whole you're gonna get assholes but yeah I think it's just like any anything else at work at wherever generally people are pretty nice like I haven't had like terrible experiences personally there's been just like just comments and stuff that are like not very nice but I could give I could give two shits about that like I don't know who they are they could be like a fucking 12 year old in their basement like how am I meant to know if I'm not going to um, if you're not someone that I'll, I would actually want to hang out with in real life then uh, there's no reason why I should give a shit what you say on the internet but all the positive stuff is fantastic and I appreciate it and, and it's and it's great but yeah that's the sort of stance I take with any of the negative stuff but at the same time keeping an eye on it as well and not just blocking myself out completely because sometimes there's some like le legit critiques and if they're like done with like in a nice way bring them on i appreciate it you know so it's not just like negative things i'm like ew no don't go away i don't want to hear negative things it's like no it's just if you're rude but there's also like a because you've got i've just realized like it's something that i never took into account but just how many people there are that are from all over the place like he's a, yeah no shit Ben, but like just hearing like you got people from Mexico popping in here, you know what I mean? People from wherever. Um, it could also like there's only so much we can communicate through text, so a well-meaning comment like a critique could come off as like rude or whatever. But you got to think as well like what sort of cultural or language barrier are they working with it's yeah something to take into account as well but in general it's been very positive oh turkeys not two cans <laughs> oh hold on no hold on toki said two cans toki to i usually see two cans in my backyard yeah I was correct, Taylor. Thank you very much. You see turkeys 
Toki sees two cans. Say that ten times fast. Uh, maybe a can camera angle from above would be cool. Yep, let's see if we can block this out. Even from just like a, a floor plan almost. Like where the alien would be standing. This might not be the final il illustration, but just to like plan it out. It's like, all right, so maybe this guy's over here somewhere. And then he's sort of spread out, freaking out that he's floating away. Right. Then you've got like some logs here. And then all the way back here is all the trees and whatever. So that could be the bird's eye view. Because it's interesting with this, like with drawing and with sort of 3D forms and that sort of stuff, I can work my way back. Excuse me. I can like work my way back. If I get stuck, I can go back and ask questions to myself. It's like, okay, is this looking right? Is this looking right? Da, da, da. But with like composition, I've, I've not learned that as uh, enough to be like, all right, is this good? What can I do to improve it? Um, at least not fast. I have a general sense of what kind of looks appealing, I guess, but that's just like a gut feel. So... So dad joke, uh, don't call me late for dinner. Oh, I get it. Dad, well done. Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> uh, Taylor, I think the artist community is the most supportive I've ever experienced, but I'm also a baby artist, so maybe I just haven't seen the band yet. <laughs> yeah, well, look, that was like a milestone for me when I got my first hater. I was like, hell yeah. I'm growing. It's like a positive thing. Uh, someone is a Disney princess. I ah, can't do it. It's uh, copyright issues because this is going in a magazine. So, um, uh, so Ben's dad, do you do any creative things like art? And uh, are you so proud of Ben? <laughs> uh, uh, also, Ben's dad, I know your wife's name. Ben told us. <laughs> <laughs> she popped at Sugar Beach. She didn't come in before. Mum was in the chat. Mum was on the stream before. Uh, I think the uh, internet is divided into two levels. The one that connects people of one country and the world at the first level. Everything gets better for us because we learn from the rest of the world. Yep. When I started five years ago, I was, I was shocked. Uh, our people were very angry. More criticism or bad comments. Yeah, don't, don't take no, no, don't take any notice. Uh, very proud of my boy. Don't do much drawing these days. I do a bit of woodwork and uh, getting into airbrush fishing lures. Yes. And you know what? We're in the conversations of dad starting a lure painting business. I'm going to force you into it, dad. I don't care. This, it's going to be so cool. I'm going to learn all this, teach you all the stuff I know about social media. And we're going to start a lure painting business. It's so fun. It's so cool. The opportunities are immense. You can get dad on the dad. You can go on stream and just paint away and talk like I'm talking now, just talking shit. Oh, it'd be amazing. I think the stream chat uh, delay has gotten worse. Uh, not a big thing. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, or I'm just getting worse. I don't know. <laughs> All right, back to work, Dad. Oh, Mum's back in. <laughs> this is a family family stream. I should rename it. Uh, Connie just got home. Uh, yeah, no, my eyesight's okay. Touch wood, touch wood. My eyesight's all right. Okay, I'm just taking a break for the moment. We'll uh, we'll just catch up with chat. And I have to take a five minute break. Oh, excuse me. Just buddy hit puberty. Um, hello. Uh, next Ben family member. <laughs> All right. So they're on mum's account. So Courtney. So I've got uh, 
mum, dad, and Courtney. All right, she's my sister, my little sister. She's 10 years younger than me. Um, I know because I was wondering why you're using uh, your mum's account. <laughs> we know everything about Ben. Oh, you guys are too kind. Yeah, it's great to have the family in here. I love it. Uh, I have two options now. Go draw a trade on a broken tablet or start playing Resident Evil Village. What would you choose? My question to you is what is going to get you closer to your goals? Think about that, my friend. Um, I don't go fishing, but I'll buy a lure. Dad, we've got, a, a, we've got our first customer. I'm telling you. It's uh, it's happening. Delay seems to be about five minutes. Oh, bugger. That's annoying. Uh, what does the word Ebla mean? Yeah, I think it, I think Ebla means something weird in different uh, languages. Um, I've heard like in Sweden, Swedish, I think it's like leg or something. I don't know. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> I don't actually know what Eblin said. It wasn't actually Eblin in the beginning. It actually got changed from Ablan to Eblin. I think when my family moved over from Lebanon. Anyway, enough family history. I want to take a break. I'm going to uh, write a little message to say be back. Be back in five. This is fun. I like this ideation stage because this is going to like, it'll be cool to see it from, from the beginning. The idea, forcing myself, thank you ARG to, uh, to do thumbnails, um, do different variations, different. And then I think when I come back, we'll start looking at some reference. What kind of styles do I want to do? Shout out the artists that I'm, uh, going to be inspired by and we'll uh, continue to have some fun with it ah, I'm so embarrassed I read it as a swear word and my translator confirmed it <laughs> uh, hi uncle Eblin I'm guessing you are not real who are you talking about sugar beets Yeah, no, I'm I'm a, I'm a little bit delayed myself on chat ARG. So look, I'll be back momentarily, and uh, I will see you shortly. Oh no, oh no, and we're back.
All right. I'm back. I've had some ideas. CMG. I'll have time to make avocado toast. Okay. I'm thinking I could use this as my secondary Oh, but then you guys aren't even, even gonna see it. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just crack open Pinterest. Uh, actually no first. I have my oh, I'm bloody scattered all over the bloody place. I had the idea of having this guy, the lumberjack. I think I'm going with the lumberjack. It is what it is. it's going to happen. So his legs sort of scooping up like this. He's holding on to. His axe, which is in the tree, and he's like freaking out. All right. Okay, so got the, let's get ready to be back in five minutes. I'm back right now. Okay. So it's, it's got his axe here. He's freaking out. Then you got the alien back here. So it's like framed. So we can see both of their faces. We could. So then the lumberjack is in the foreground. The alien is in the background. Maybe a little bit smaller even. Then this is this way we can have like maybe the The squirrel is like a bycatch. He's not meant to be there, but it is. Yeah, that's a bloody big squirrel, but you know what I mean? Here, maybe his tool belt. We should look up what lumberjacks have like his stirrups, or like his whatever. Sorry, I'm talking in half sentences. My, my, my brain can only uh, focus on one thing at a time. So maybe he's got like a toolbox of some sort, maybe not. We can have like maybe the pile of what he's chopped. Like split logs and that kind of thing. And then we've got like the horizon line, sort of. So we've got the thing about the horizon line, it's messy as hell, right? It's messy as frick. 
but then we can frame it again it took a freaking photo so stupid we'll have to have a look at maybe like pine tree whatever's and then we can have like that that little motif like aliens picking up other people in the background I don't mind that. This is kind of an interesting with the other squirrel. Maybe he's less obvious. He's like a secondary character, like he's out of the way a little bit. And then maybe the alien guy is more maybe he has like a backpack because it's like a big piece of machinery. It's not just like this. Just like thing that works because whatever. Maybe it's like a, an actual. It needs a little bit of oomph. Feeling this a little bit more just from a compositional standpoint, but again, I don't know what I'm doing. Clarence, uh, hello, Uncle Ben. <laughs> Please don't call me Uncle Ben, it's weird. Oh. All right, I think maybe we clean up some of these shapes here because I'm liking the vibe of this because we get every we get the story right. We get the lumberjack. He's in the middle of his work. He's surprised, right? So he's got this little Metal Gear Solid like oh shit, little boop boop thing, and then you've got the levitation thing of this guy is stealing him. This alien bloke is stealing him. Right, and it's in the woods. And you're going to have little woodland creatures being picked up as well. But not too many. Uh, we've got to be careful of how um, scattered it is. Cool thing is I can try out the script that I wrote. Actually, I might show you the script. So what I've always wanted is what I would love is like a slider, particularly for value, um, like thing like just like painting in black and white, right? I just want to be able to slide this brightness and contrast up without have to manually like go and change the brightness and contrast so what i've done is i've made a little script that increases this by 10 percent. so i've just bound that script to command q and command w so it goes up and down by 10 percent each time which is kind of handy particularly for this background stuff and this is this became more more apparent when I was doing backgrounds like so now if like I just want to fill in quick values I can do that here oh, okay I want it a little bit lighter like maybe 10% lighter I can just do that maybe another 10% lighter boom done or oh, no I'm gonna go down I want it a little bit darker so it's like a, a sort of optimize there's probably better ways to do it. I couldn't find better ways to do that. And it works with like uh, brushes as well. So if you're sort of, I've got like a, a paint brush or whatever, it's just the, like a hard round brush. You put this in, all right, I just wanted a step lighter value wise. Cool, all right, just another step lighter. 
another step lighter, another step lighter. And then you can just, it's, it's not gonna be great for like the whole process, but it just speeds things up instead of having to go back and forth. Cause then you can have like really solid value structures, maybe. And then you can go in and like blend and do all that sort of shit later. But so say if I wanted a cube way too dark, up, up, up. Okay, a little bit lighter, one more. That's cool. All right, let's get that one, two, three read. So, all right, let's fill that in. No, nope, lighter, lighter, better. Maybe one more lighter, cool. And I've got like a quick cube, you know? So it's like, I don't know. I'm thinking about efficiency with this sort of stuff. I just want a slider to like have hue, saturation and brightness next to me, like a physical slider button on so I can just be like, woo, 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 just uh, uh, like as I'm painting, that would that'd be sick. That's the ideal. I don't think Photoshop can actually have has the function to do that, um, even with scripting. This is like the closest, like this is like version one. I just did this last night. It's like version one I'm just playing around with. So when we do the values, it'll be interesting to test it out. But uh, yeah, keeping my nerdy, coding side of myself alive in context of art which is sick but i tell you what adobe your documentation on your scripting is absolute shit house so do something about that because it was a nightmare trying to find where all your stuff is so yeah i would love it if you could fix that please that would be amazing. All right, back to this. So I'm liking this composition. I'm gonna do some more thumbnails, black and white thumbnails, definitely. Um, actually, maybe we do this as a thumbnail. I'm, I'm getting too big with it. I'm, I'm getting anxious. I wanna just get into the structuring things and making things look cool. Relax everyone, calm down. We need to think methodically, methodically about this. Ah. Uh, thank you, ARG. Um, Kizyev, I'm definitely not on this list. I either draw only the background or the character, but the horror comes putting together. I get confused. Well, hopefully this will help out because me too. I'm trying to figure that out as well. And we're going to get there. Um, okay, and this is the thing with like the whole AI art stuff, right? You think, you like you prompt your way to like getting a nice background, okay? Then you prompt your way to getting like a nice character. Okay, maybe you can do that to like a certain extent, but all right, now change that. Update it to like make it fit in like, I don't know. I think we're a bit far off of that um, from, the, from the AI stuff as well. That's why I'm not too concerned. Plus it's too much freaking fun creating out creating my own stuff exactly how i want it and exploring this whole process it's uh yeah i don't think this kind of stuff is going away anytime soon and there's some interesting legal stuff going on right now so there was uh, there was something I, I saw recently that someone created a whole comic out of ai you could tell that it was done with ai but the copyright um office in the US, I think, uh, said that they couldn't copyright it. You couldn't legally copyright that work because it was generated from uh, AI, which would send shivers down my spine if I was a studio. If I used that in my process, so there's all this shit going on with it. Don't stress, keep, keep doing your thing. It's, uh, yeah, you won't see fear mongering from me. That's, that's for sure. I draw the words on the side. Thank you, Thumb Guns. Wildlife. No, it's not wildlife. Woodlands. Woodlands. Ah, what is it? Um, thief. Surprise. This is 
deep because you've got the lumberjack he's stealing from the forest and the woodlands you've got the alien that's stealing the bloody lumberjack oh you've got the squirrel stealing the acorn it's all happening everyone this is some like 4d chess going on here poggers ben art <laughs> i know what poggers is now hell yeah thank you tongue guns cool 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 all right so uh what did, i'm getting i'm all over the place today which is fine this is what you get with these streams all right i'm gonna copy this uh i want to also copy this command c command v throw that up in the top make it always on top and lock that bitty so it does not go anywhere all right let's scale this one down wait have we got a copy of that okay we've got a copy of that cool so let's just name this sketch um idea one very sophisticated naming let's do some smaller thumbnails to see how it reads from afar clean up some of these shapes again arg appreciate you keep me honest Uh, control J to paste in front. Thank you, Thun Guns. I do know that one, but yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, that's a that's a good one. Okay, so we've got character one, foreground, here, should be very in the foreground cutting outside of this composition which will be cool tiny little legs because they one they're going back in uh perspective all right and it accentuates his upper body because he's a lumberjack and doing lumberjacky things Also, it kind of gives me like Mitchells versus the Machines vibes. I've not watched that one yet. So this is foreground, 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 foreground. Simple shapes, Ben, no details. Simple shapes. All right, so he's floating. We've got this sort of guy here. I think down here is just a bunch of off cuts just wood all over the place all right horizon line here Alien, slender, big head, backpack maybe, gun, or ray beam or whatever you're going to call it. Maybe move him over here. I know all this sort of stuff like the rule of thirds and that kind of thing. So maybe we, I know it, I've heard of it and it can be useful. So we sort of move him over here. And also I was talking to Jesse Draper. Go check him out. Quick shout out jesse go give him a follow go give him a comment tell him i sent you he's a part of uh, anim school so i was having a, a chat to him about composition and he was explaining to me about that like leading the eye around the the piece right which uh like this is this is the man himself that's a cool effect. But yeah, go check him out. 
and he was talking about like leading the eye to the piece. So I think we can use this sort of, what would you call the whole, uh, the levitation device thing, my Bob, to bring it back to him, which then brings it down into the, the ax that he's holding onto, which then brings your eye back to the alien, which then brings it. So it's like a nice, so, and this is all guessing. I've got no idea. This isn't like premeditated. This is me just like thinking out loud. It could be a good idea. It might not be. All right. So then we've got the, the axe stuck here. All right. Got the axe head, blah, blah. No details, Ben. Just shapes. So here we've got wood just laying here maybe they're just more angular wood shapes so then we've got this from back here maybe we can have the little squirrel being accidentally caught up in the mess over here got like leaves and debris and all that kind of stuff whipping around because he's not going into this thing necessarily And this could become like an OC. This could be like a friendship between these two. Maybe one day in the future. I don't know my interests uh, in art and what kind of stuff I want to draw anymore. Do you have any advice? I probably do, but just don't, uh, but just not really good at them. Yeah, well, um, I would recommend get yourself if you're on Instagram go into your saves right look at all the artists that you like and just get a, a little hit of inspiration you know what I mean just to kick start it's inspiration is fleeting it's like motivation is fleeting right and then pick something that you liked about their artwork say for example with me with me recently Rob Rappel let me just show you his stuff if you haven't seen it. I'm just going to go here anyway. Whoa, what's going on here? Rob. Rappel? Rappel? Like his stuff just captures my imagination. You know what I mean? Like it's... Like just stuff like this. I absolutely love it. It just really appeals to me. It's so graphic. Actually, I don't know if this is Rob, Rob Rappel. But this kind of stuff, right? It just captures my imagination. And that got me down a rabbit hole. It's like, okay, research, like look at every um, interview that he's done, right? Just go on an absolute tear through the internet trying to find every scrap of information that he's ever talked about. He doesn't have a lot, which is really bloody frustrating. He's got um, Graphic LA, which is his book, but like tutorials and that kind of stuff, he doesn't have that much. But what he does have is uh, uh, interviews. There's a couple of interviews that he's got on YouTube. So I threw them on. And then while I had that on and while I was working, I'll have a note, like my notes open, just like whatever, Apple Notes, Obsidian, whatever you're using. And then when he says things and he's like, oh, I actually just, I didn't use the lasso tool to... Uh, Let's have a look. Where's one of his, like here. I didn't use like the lasso tool. These are actually shapes, like like vector shapes because he could manipulate them better at different stages, right? So I was like, ha, huh, cool. All right, note that down. Note that down and I can even see my notes on him here. Or I'll crack open Obsidian. Um, what's new? Canvas in. Oh, looking forward to checking that out. Open. So then I've basically created a file on him, like I'm a detective. So people, Rob Rappel. Uh, his top books. Notes on Rob Rappel lecture. So there was like a Reddit post that someone wrote notes on his lecture, right? So they put all the bullet points, tips, that thing. I just copy that, threw that in here. And I've got this Twitter post from Rob, which I think is a tutorial that he that he had. Yeah, so this one. So this is like one of his processes that you wouldn't find necessarily. Like, and this was only posted really recently, like February 13th, like a couple of weeks ago. 
so like this is this is what gets me going is the like the hunt for information um and that's yeah the the coolest thing because then it's like cool then i can add that to my artistic tool belt and do my own version because i can even see like characters in this style like my own kind of characters where it's like half rendered half this really simple shape kind of thing and i might even try that here so yeah look at others artwork save a bunch of their stuff and just get inspired and then go on the hunt um i think that, could, that this could actually be a youtube video let me note that down so this is what i'm getting into the habit of of uh going on the hunt hunt for um art, uh for um other artists process processes because i've got a lot of thoughts on that and it's what's helped me go from like a really realistic sort of um style i guess where i was just copying the reference to being able to draw whatever the f hell i want you know it's and it's like freedom so if you can harness that kind of drive and hunger to to try and find the information it's uh it's the best fuel for just getting you out of a funk which I've, i gather from your comment that's what um what you're sort of feeling because uh, yeah, can you under explain to me what ben is drawing i see woodcutter and i don't understand anything else you and me my, you and me both my friend no so we've got so this guy is going to be like an alien right He's got he got a lumberjack, so like the woodcutter lumberjack. You got the alien, and he's sort of ab abducting him. Okay, and in the background here, we're gonna have like UFOs that are gonna be like abducting other lumberjacks and that kind of thing in the background. So it's almost like they're they're harvesting. It's their harvesting season, right? And it's based off of these Woodlands Thief Surprise. So he's bloody surprised that this is happening. But I don't want to do like this typical alien. I want to do my own version of an alien. Maybe we can get like bits and pieces of different animals. Because this is like creating stylized animals. This was um, gifted to me. Uh, and like even stuff like this. Like super... Hold on, let me go half and half. Uh, come on, you bloody. Like, even this, like this is beautiful stuff, right? We can like mix and match like different animal. And this is way out of my comfort zone as well. All right, we can get really in the weeds of trying to figure out how to create creatures, mix and match them together and create like alien sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, get better at that kind of thing as well. So yeah, it's going to be exciting. And I've lost where I was going with what I was drawing. I think I was just doing thumbnail stuff. But yeah, this is too generic. Too generic. Okay, and this is more stuff that I want to do. I want to create more characters. I want to do more scenes. I want to give context. I want to understand story. Again, building my skill set. I don't just want to be drawing portraits and likenesses forever, although they're fun as anything and they do really well on social media. I want to, um, yeah, expand. So then in the background here, we need to make this kind of simpler right taking notes from rob rappel because it's going to be woodlands right so we want to note woodlands so maybe there's like pine trees in the background right. and this guy
Uh, this looks janky as anything right now, but trust the process. At least is what I'm telling myself. <laughs> With thumbnails, it's always good to typically, typically define the canvas size and shape in order to help determine proportions and flow of drawing. Good idea, ARG. This is kind of out in no man's land at the moment. It's just free form. Not a bad idea. So we could maybe try different compositions. I mean, I would love. I've actually got to think about. I've got to talk to the uh, character design quarterly people about posting and that kind of thing. But this is great for Instagram. This is great, but this is good for like more like different compositions. I would almost see I wanted to have this like vignette. So he's like coming out of the it's like more dynamic almost if he's like coming out like maybe if it's framed which is what um give me a moment oh my lion decker does very very well so if we take let's see if i can find one of lion decker where it's like he goes out this is where i need the I don't have the other camera set up where it's just looking down. Um, there's one in particular. It's like a, a guy riding a horse. Let me see if I can quickly find it. I'll know it as soon as I see Here we go. So it's like this kind of deal where there's like, oh, hold on, my apologies. So it's like part you've got like graphic elements and then like parts of him and like the horse and there's like crossover it's just like really nice and graphic you know that's kind of what i'm feeling i want to uh to go for Mitchell's versus machines is great fun. Uh, I should have a whole day of watching stuff. Uh, we recommend. <laughs> I've got to. Go, I've got to work. This is a business now, my friend. I've got to. But it is. It is part of it, right? It is getting inspiration. So. Hey, uh, watch. Knives Out, Glass Onion, Red Lion, Akira, Gurren Lagan. Oh, I was actually watching. Um, yesterday on youtube it was like a 10 minute youtube video of avatar the last airbender and their plans for what um they're working on next that's an interesting franchise i never got into it when i was younger but i like the character designs so that's um something interesting that i might explore catch you later thumb guns enjoy whatever you're going to eat Apprend Arts, welcome from Brazil. Oh, that's right. We're, we're going into the Brazilian time zone now. You could overlay the golden spiral in order to have a guideline of flow from the lumberjack to the alien and maybe even some of the debris. That's a good idea. There's such debate on like the golden ratio and the golden spiral and that kind of thing. I don't... There's two schools of thought with it. One of them is that it's used everywhere, right? Uh, and it's like even credit cards and like hard drives and like this this thing could be like the golden ratio of whatever it's 1.61 by whatever. Like you look it up, it's like a thing, right? But then there's also people that say that it's kind of bullshit. Like because you can fit it into anything. You can just like extrapolate things like not so much as bullshit but the, the how far some people take it is just a little bit ridiculous because you can kind of fit it into whatever you can it's kind of uh what's that bias 
um, confirmation bias. If you're looking for places that you're gonna find it, you'll find it even if it's not really there. I don't know, but no, it's a good idea. It's a good idea because I think there's there's the the truth lies somewhere in between there. I like Alberto Miego. Let's have a look at Alberto. All right, so this is very free form at the moment. I'm trying to get inspiration. This is what happens when I'm by myself. Uh, so Alberto Miego. Miego? Ooh. Thank you, Kiziov. Love, 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 love. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Holy frick. Oh, man. This is what I'm talking about. And then the beautiful thing about Pinterest, Yujin uh, Chu, thank you very much. I love this. Selected words, who is it? Who is it, who is it, who is it? See, we're going on the hunt right now. I wanna get like a stream deck and have like different modes. So we're like, all right, we're in hunting mode now. We're trying to figure out stuff because this is very like rob, rob repel esque right so who is this uh michael saw tier saw michael or mikal saw tirak there you go beautiful stuff super simple geometric shapes i don't want to go so geometric with my stuff but it's like we can take some of this for the background definitely so say that Thank you, thank you. Oh, I love this. So realistic. You squint your eyes, you look, that looks like a photo, but then you look at this. Yunling. Let's go. Crack open. Art station. Save. Look at this. Gareth. Da we're, we're finding people today. Gareth Davies. And this is all this stuff, like the Rob Rappel esque simplified shapes, but the values and the lighting are right, uh, are right there. This is beautiful. This is your, uh, is this? No, this isn't someone else. No, there's Jorge, Jorge Molina. I don't know if this is the artist or not. Angela Sung, beautiful. Look at this. See values. Values are more important than color, in my opinion. Because you can still read this. There's a good saying that I heard, actually Rob, talk about in his in uh, interviews one of his interviews he was saying and i don't i don't know if he remembered who said it but he says you can fix bad color with good values but you can't pick but you can't fix bad values with good color right so that's something a nice little reminder to keep in mind this stuff's cool as oh hell yeah and look Look what pops up, Rob Rappel, into the Spider-Verse, beautiful. Angela Sung, I think I've, Angela Sung, I've, I've seen a lot of her stuff, she does a lot of gouache. Yeah, this was a, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, vibrancy, that's what I want to get into my work, more vibrant, interesting. Jordan Grimner, or Grimmer, Grimer, Grimmer, whatever his name is. Fantastic, Susan Abbott, oh, and yeah, go, pop onto my Pinterest, like as I'm saving these. I think I've got them public. If not, let me know. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this. Thank you very much, uh, Kiziov. You've you sparked the hunt. Xin Jong Han, beautiful. Okay, cool. We're not up to that stage yet. But it's given me some some ammo to work with later on. So what ARG was talking about 
earlier was the composition, right? So what is the canvas that we're working with? So this is actually gonna be a tutorial. So maybe I want it up in this. This is just better for social media and that's where I live, right? So it's, let's, let's do it portrait and fit my guy here and then you got the like the rule of thirds or whatever rule of thirds here and then rule of thirds so you got like one two three and you got one two three so stuff should fit technically in these like the the focus the part the, the focus of the of the piece i think from memory should fit somewhere along this line and then you've got like a spiral thing that'll come out like that somewhere and then you can fit things along that spiral maybe that ray this ray thing could be part of that spiral who knows uh to camp about 15 20 minutes ago i mentioned that something about art block or not knowing uh what you want to draw or paint or anything like that go back about 15 to 20 minutes uh, Wade, I'm doing well. I uh, haven't seen you uh, in a game. Uh, haven't seen you game in a while. No, I haven't gamed in a while. I've got to get back into um, doing a bit of Fortnite with I am Fabian Daniel. One of my friends is doing streams over on the old YouTubes. Go have some fun with him. Uh, Kizzy, a moment of informative <laughs> with Ben. <laughs> Uh, Kyle Thompson, Ben, should I go live? Yes, do it. CMG, Ben, you got to go get into Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. John Park has really nice environments, really cool textures and painterly. Also, Jeremy Frensky. I'm going back into this stream later, the chat, to uh, to check that out. Uh, Sam does art, does really cool people. He does. I've been looking at his more recent stuff, absolutely loving it, how he's getting... Uh, more environments into it even water water is very fascinating um, to play with um, ARG just followed you on Pinterest awesome oh it's the golden ratio or Fibonacci or the principle of fractals yeah lavender lizards his uh, environments are fantastic yeah yep 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 so we can take something from uh, Sam does arts as well like just his color because it's so vibrant right and it hits on social media as well, right? I'm a businessman. I love art. I, the whole thing is art to me, right? So like what's appealing to me and the masses is like that nice little like crossover between the two. And I think we can do something with this one. And it's going to be, I reckon, advantageous to character design quarterly if I do one that hits on social media as well because then they'll have me back and blah 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 so and then I can be doing more of these I'm going to be doing them anyway but uh cool so if we're using this kind of thing maybe our lumberjack is like here like the main focus starts here kicks back into maybe almost here with the alien in the background so there's like a bit of perspective going he's like freaking out uh, maybe we have some foreground elements we could even have this like in a forest with like nice lighting so you've got like dappled light maybe i don't know if that'll work super well we can have a play with that now, apologies if stuff's not looking cool yet. This is this is how it is, <laughs> really. It doesn't look cool for, for quite a while. Um, so that could be a, a cool little composition in portrait. And then you got the the gravity ray sort of picking him up. It reminds me of uh, 
What was that game? Back in the early 2000s. PlayStation game. It's like alien, like an alien guy. It's like Grand Theft Auto, but you're an alien. That was an underrated game, that one. That was good fun. Maybe the squirrel's holding onto like the acorn here. That's squirrel. We've got to have a squirrel, a squirrel in there. It is what it is. So then we've got maybe the horizon line, which sits on that third almost. I don't think it has to fit like 100%. It's just the general sort of uh, vibe to it. Maybe we can play around with depth of field as well. Right, so maybe he's just a tad bit blurrier, but we still want to make his silhouette read like he's like an alien. From maybe he's got, we give him a helmet, like a clear helmet. I'm I'm into like like this guy. This is just my personal one that I was playing around with. This these are like two characters that I want to mess around with. So maybe it's like this kind of alien. But he's more like a gecko sort of lizardy alien kind of guy, like anthropomorphic. I don't know. This is a kind of vibe. Maybe this is a big reason why I'm choosing aliens because I just it's top of mind at the moment. Who knows? But he's like doing this, almost like a Ghostbusters esque kind of thing. But he's just like grabbing him. Then we have the trees in the background showing that it's woods. You've got the thingamabobs all the chopped pieces of wood down here then you've got like aliens that are coming from behind the forest line so it's like an invasion it's like happening at that point they're like yep harvesting time which could be yeah, that fits nice. And then if we were to have this... Like maybe we have some foreground elements like a bush or or something to frame this. Here is like the back where the background cuts off. Right, and then here's just like white. So then we can maybe have his leg kick out of the frame. Just to make it more interesting. I don't know. May hmm. Could even have it as like a comic. So you actually see there's like two. Yeah, I don't know about the rule. There, there's no real rules they gave me. So I could do like one or even just have. comic style esque kind of thing where you've got the alien's face and he's like haha I'm getting you and then you see the alien here and then you see the lumberjack sort of here we could play around with that as well but I think getting this main composition down could be could be interesting Mark welcome back my friend what did you miss? A lot of scribbles, a lot of rambles. And that's about it, really. Squirrel could be holding onto the lumberjack's f uh, onto the lumberjack's foot. Good idea. But then he makes it, it'll make him like really small. Which might not be a bad thing. Because that's a bloody huge squirrel. <laughs> so maybe we have him somewhere around here. Like so he's, yeah, we can play around with that. But the main characters, our main whatever, we've got the, he not the hero, but maybe the hero, I don't know, like the good guy and the bad guy in this context. Could be that. And we've got, and 
maybe that cuts up at the bottom. Then we've got the the axe. Sort of in the wood bit, the 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 stump. Sort of comes off frame, so it's there's some like depths to it. There's overlap, these overlapping lines, like T lines, right? Showing that, like, if we've got a cube, and then we've got like a sphere behind the cube, or like a circle, or something behind the cube, having really clear overlapping T lines helps a lot with like depth. So, there's going to be a lot of that going on here. Right, I'm liking this. What do you reckon so far? Because now I'm lost um, with what to do next. Should I do the background? Because if this, if this is the composition that I'm going for, I want it to be playful, almost like Fortnite-esque. Mixed with like Max Grecky, mixed with TB Choi, mixed with like Jin Kim, mixed with Rob Rappel. All right, so do we try and go for, do we think about the environment more? Where are they actually? And is this where we start to build, we crack open Pure Ref. And then we start to get reference images of woodlands. Woodlands. See, this is cool. This is what I was thinking of. Like, could we have something here? I like this for like the pine tree sort of sort of vibe. I don't like the like that's this is what I'm thinking about as like the background. That could be nice for like depth. We think you think about time of day. It's going to be in the middle of the day. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, the problem with this, so they go to Tumblr, right? And then Tumblr is like the Wild West, so I can't really, I should really, um, yeah, um, find the uh, the photographers of these these references. But I, I'm just not gonna risk going into a Tumblr. This is nice. This kind of vibe. This would be beautiful. This would be nice because you've got depth. You've got lighting. Uh, Vanessa Palmer, beautiful stuff. We can take inspiration from that, from like the style. See, this is going to be new to me. I've not really tackled a forest or woodlands scene before. So we're, we're, we're jumping outside the, uh, the comfort zone. I like the quirky. See, this is a kind of vibe. This is cool. Um, who's this? Who's this? Sebastian Le Divina. 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 That's cool. I like that vibe. I love this blockiness. Agent Pekka. Sometimes I feel like I'm swearing. When I pronounce people's names. That's beautiful. Who is this by though? Who is this by? Homesteading. Is this is just some... Who is it by? Image via art. Art station didn't make it. Who's the bloody artist? 
big ball gal. <laughs> there you go. Big ball gal. Appreciate ya. Uh, there was another one that, that caught my eye. Uh, like this. Mike McCain. Beautiful. See, the cool thing is we can mix all this and then we can get my studies from like Rob Rappel and all the others that, w that we found today. This is nice. Neighbours by Ismail Incioglu. In in and I'm saying it with an accent. God knows if that's a, the correct accent. Another one from Ismail. Ishmael, who knows? This is beautiful, nice and simple. I want to keep simple shapes. Alejo Diaz, beautiful. I should really, yeah, I should be saving these in Pinterest because I'm gonna, not going to know where they come from. This is nice. PR, PR, that's another Tumblr. I don't trust Tumblr, but I want to save that anyway. This is a nice time of day by David Dibble really cool so this is like a whole new world environments i'm looking forward to oh i just saw this one wan bow beautiful because yeah we we're, we're up on our skills this year we're not we we're breaking out of our comfort zones comfort zones and i want to do some streams where it's like risk free so everyone like choose a thing that they've always wanted to test out and this is the stream to make like do really shitty paintings and drawings you know Oh, who's this? This is um, just by looking at it because it is not here. Pascal Champion, Campion. I almost guarantee that's him. That's his work. Just by his characters. And the, uh, the subject matter. Husband illustrates during the past year. Pascal. Yes, it is. Yep. So he does. He's really cool like just sort of moments in the day kind of stuff so i like that that's beautiful jong hun yep jong hun shin okay now let's go and how, i'm just in reference gathering mode right now so let's have a look at uh let's go to the old faithful character design uh, board character design 1093 pins yep love this is cool so this was Alberto from before David Finch awesome well that's what I'll be doing after stream checking out David Finch uh, you're digging it I think you go for uh, defining the shapes in different values still keeping it simple read my mind at ARG I reckon that's the next step. That will really help with simplifying composition and, and understanding elements and flow. Agreed. Because I want to like ease into the final of the piece. Like I want it to be like not less of a struggle and more of like a structured, systematized way of going about this because it's new to me. I don't want to start throwing stuff at it and then be like, oh, I've got to redo this and redo that. I want to like slowly ease into it. Avalon, Avaline uh, Stockart, you guys probably know her work. Beautiful lighting and characters there. I love this. Boop Koo. Right, so you, you, you're getting the vibe that I'm going for with this. It might turn out completely different, but this is the reference that I'm, uh, that I'm loving. I love this guy. Who is this? Uploaded by something something anonymous. Well, that's annoying. Huh. We can do a little uh, reverse image search because this is, I like this really simplified look. So let's uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. save image as, save it to my downloads, go to Google. Then we can do a reverse image search. So 
So upload the file, go to downloads. I think it was this one, upload. And it's hopefully gonna show me. Gop gap. That rings a bell. Looks, uh, oh, maybe not. Art station. We're gonna find this artist. Or is this someone that just did studies? Okay, that was useless. Is it Miller? Mila? Looks like it's Mila. Yep. Mila Toro. Oh no, this is study of Gop Gap, I think. See, this is the tricky part. Because I always want to try and... Uh, let's Gop Gap. Gop Gap. Because I always want to try and uh, attribute... Yeah, this looks like... Yeah, that's them. Yeah, just by that painting, I can almost guarantee that's that's them. So if I can find... Yeah, this is beautiful, this one. This gives me the similar, similar sort of vibes. Ugh. Perfection. Mark, I am. And Kyle, yeah, I said, uh, I mentioned before, yeah, Kyle, go live. Go for it. And yeah, I'm finally getting into environments. It's, uh, it's going to be fun. I did an illustration in a forest with a, a chocobo. The lighting was really fun. No idea what a chocobo is. Drinking this inspiration juice, you know it. <laughs> I love Photoshop. <laughs> GFX Panda. Uh, I think you would really love Ryan Lang. I do love Ryan Lang. This stuff's fantastic. So if we go, actually, I just saw this. This gives me inspirations for the lumberjack guy. His shapes, very blocky. Love the colors of this. Go, gop, gap. Good shit. Let's, uh, powered by art state. Okay, so this is a separate thing. So if we go Ryan Lang. See, and this is how I find my style. Like, I don't, I, I it just sort of, I don't know. My, my style is going to like evolve like crazy over the next, like however many years. Um, sort by artist. How do I sort artists? Ryan Lang. Okay, so is, I don't, does he, has he just removed his stuff completely? It looks like it. Okay, well, let's try and find him somewhere else. Ryan Lang. Mm-hmm. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, you guys are going to ruin my sleeping pattern with all these suggestions. I'm going to be up for a month of Sundays just going deep. That's a nice... Yeah, I've seen this one a lot. Who is this? Behance, open it for me, please. Because I want to... I want to figure, aha, who's this? Uh, Byom Jin Kim. Beautiful, I love this. I've seen this, I've actually got this on my pin board before and Behance is annoying, but we've got, don't tell anyone, screenshots. I mean, there's ways to go into the, oh, did I just get out of that? That's annoying. And just these simple shapes. Beautiful. I love this. Oh, that's it. This is... Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is uh, uh, inter no, uh, Interstellar, I think. So there's ways to pop into here and get all fancy with it. And then 
find the image if it doesn't let you right click and now we've got the image oh and I just got out of it again that's frustrating but uh, Byung Jing Kim yeah love this really simplified um, yeah this is definitely interstellar so cool so so cool but it's just simple shapes you notice that like there's lens effects and that kind of thing like he's blurred the background more blurry at the front then these two are in focus this is right before i think she throws all the paper into uh the lobby or wherever so cool all right i don't want to spend all day on this just getting reference but this is fun i love this painterly style Miyazaki Akira. Beautiful. I like this. Guri Hiru. Beautiful. Love this as well. The beautiful thing about understanding the line work is that you can take it as far as you want. You can just leave it at this. Not leave it at this like this is like left, but you can do this sort of stuff and do the more cell shaded kind of thing. Or you could like spin it up into a fully rendered piece i want to try and do a, a half and half with this one i mean that's what i said with ellie and joel with the last one and that didn't work out that well this is ryan lang again i love this we can use this as inspiration for some of the debris potentially i love this michael saw t ruck okay I think we've got a lot here. So we've got an absolute bloody shopping spree of inspiration. So yeah, where I saved it, just go on my Pinterest to uh, check out these artists. I highly recommend it. This is how I learn. Uh, I'm kind of flying blind at the moment. We'll figure this out as we go. And here's the new characters to the stream. We've got Coco, Winnie, and Ollie making a ruckus. It just hurts my soul. But I love them anyway. Uh, yeah, I use, I use Safari, Chrome, Firefox. I'm going to be using probably Edge when Bing's new AI thing comes out, like the uh, language, natural language thing. Because it's like chat GPT, but because it, it's by Microsoft, they have invested in open AI, which made chat GPT. But the, the limitation with chat GPT at the moment is that it's only sort of contained between like up the, like the whole of the internet or like a large part of the internet up until 2021. But the new Edge browser is basically going to have chat GPT functionality, but it can utilize the internet as well, which is just like, whoa, it's going to be amazing. Uh, Klatsi, do you know uh, Puba, Paba, Puba 24? I don't. Uh, that samurai character is from a comic he released. The whole thing is in black and white. Beautiful. Oh, awesome. I'll have to check that out. Um, check her uh, style too. There's amazing balance of stylization and sense of reality too. Okay. Let's our last little hunt. Puba 24 art. Haha. -ha. Yep. Beautiful. Love it. There's dimension to this. Very cool. Yep, there's character. Mm -hmm. Love the shapes. Almost like Max Grecky esque in here as well. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen this stuff around the place. I love these clouds. Uh, 
I'm not sure if this is Puba 24. Unsure. This is a frustrating thing. View image. Oh, and I clicked out of it. You absolute nuffner. All right. Um, uh, save image. Let's do a review. You've got me back into the hunt. Let's go images. Let's find this artist. Uh, no, that one. Upload. Show me the goods. Find source image. Summer story. Art station. It is Pivot 24. Okay, sick. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. I like this composition. This is something that I was thinking about. As the post. Very cool. Now, it's interesting. That something I've found. The more elements and the more complex that the Instagram post is, the less, at least in my experience, the less engagement it gets. So there's almost got to have like a focal point. And people do best. Like like people are the, um, do better. Instead of like scenes and that kind of thing. Lois even mentions this as well. All right. Let's, uh. Mark, I'm on edge right now. The new Bing is actually out, but I haven't really used it to its full potential. Sometimes I find myself spending all day looking at other people's art or gathering references that I forget to do some of art of my own. Any tips on not doing that? Thumb guns, Mark, just don't. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of kind of true, but it's, um, yeah, it's like a discipline thing, right? Because this is like uh, the equivalent of saying, I'm going to watch a show for inspiration. And then you binge watch like The Last of Us and it's like been eight hours and then you're like, well, at least I learned something, but did you actually learn anything? Me just putting these here, I haven't learned shit, right? No, I've, I've, nothing has been downloaded. So what I've got to do is start learning and quickly get an idea of um, how I'm going to utilize these, if that makes sense. Oh my goodness, kids! I, I can't do any more. I can't do any more. This is it's getting a, it's getting out of hand. All right. What I might actually do is crack open um, Illustrator as well because I think I could get the composition done faster in Illustrator potentially, rather than like using Rob Rippel's uh, the thing that I showed on Twitter earlier, like this kind of thing. I personally could get this done faster. If it's just flat colors in Illustrator than in Photoshop. So starting off with this real black and white sort of thing, I think could uh, could work well. I'm gonna throw that in here. Okay. All right. Nature calls. I will be back momentarily. Too much information probably, but I'll be back in 3.25 minutes okay starting now
was about 3.25 minutes. A little bit more. Okay. Yeah, look, 3.25 was more of a suggestion. There is no proof. Prove it. Okay. Yeah, definitely ARG is the one that pops mo the most. No, my time estimates are not the best. Uh, Jen asks, we want, uh, Jen Arts, sorry, Jen Arts, we want more Procreate tutorials coming up. Definitely, I've been using the iPad a little bit more recently, um, particularly for this background stuff. I think some of the tools in there uh, are going to be really helpful. Hi, Ben, have you tried this new uh, performance from Kyle? Eloi, welcome. This new performance from Kyle, it's amazing. This new perform, I've got no idea what you're talking about. He went in for one and found the other. Procreate can do a lot of things. Yeah, it's fantastic. All right. I'm thinking even we can do like a lineup. I actually saw, um, what's her name? Let me just get this up. <laughs> I just got a message from mum saying they're timing you. Yeah, I know. I feel the, uh, feel the pressure. I'm, uh, uh, there's someone that I found on Instagram, which is fantastic. Uh, let me just get up really quickly, which I think would help you guys. You might be familiar with her. Uh, Jackie Druj, Drujko? Jackie Drujko. So let me just crack open that really quickly. Because I'm, I'm thinking, just so I don't lose that thought. Doing like a character lineup. So we might have the big lumberjack guy as like the big triangle. All right, so he's got like square head, big triangle, little tiny feet. All right, then we've got maybe the alien guy next to him. So then this is kind of like the blueprint. So when we place them in the scene, we can understand a little bit better how they're actually sitting. Or like their proportions and all that sort of good stuff. So maybe he's got like really, like no torso. He's got like really long legs. Then you got the squirrel. Right, so these are like our main characters that I can s sort of start with. And we can like develop them here maybe, like just for a bit of fun. Just because I want to do that. And then from that, we know these are our characters. Then we can go into the background and start placing them, um, which might be a good way. We'll test it out. I've got no, I, again, this is all, we're doing this on the fly. We're doing it live. So, uh, yeah, let me crack open Instagram. Yeah, Eloi. Um, uh, as Loomis once said, to learn to draw is to draw and draw. <laughs> yep, that's true. Uh, so if I go into my saves, where are my saves? Save, 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 saved. 
come here. I believe it's this one. Jackie Drushko. So there was a particular reel on character lineups which sort of sparked some inspiration. See, I'm, I think you also got to train your brain to not just appreciate the art and say, oh, this looks cool. It's like, okay, save it for later and then have a note to come back. Um, I think this might have been on TikTok actually. If I find it, we, we, maybe we won't go into it right now. But it was like doing like a character lineup, which is a, is a kind of cool way of uh, thinking about it. So let's see if we can have some fun using our references as inspirations. And really see if we can push these shapes. I want to push the shapes, right? Yeah, I kind of push the shapes. But I want to push the shapes, you know what I mean? Like... Maybe we get a photo of a lumberjack to start with. Lumberjack. Not a limberjack. Jack that is good at stretching. I want a lumberjack. Yep. That looks like a guy. That's a lumberjack. Yep, so they got the beard. Yeah, they got that. Sort of the overalls. It's just that that red plate, isn't it? That is like quintessential lumberjack. I think we can play around with this. I don't think we necessarily have to go the red or anything like that, but I'm going for the shapes here. So we can use these just as a quick bit of reference. And let's begin. I think you'd like Scott Flanders for his creature and character design. Oh man, you give me so much. I'm coming back into this chat later on. Uh, was, the anima was the animated Justice League or Young Justice? It's a very geometric art style that simplifies anatomy. That's cool, Joe. Uh, also, um, 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 Sean Galloway. Sean Cheeks Galloway on Instagram. Check him out. That gives me those kind of vibes. All right, so we got big guy. Like, how wide can we get it without it being ridiculous? And then what kind of, uh, I'm going to bounce around a little bit here. All right, so what style uh, is like the axe going to be? All right, we could. I, might, I want to make it like wonky. All right, like just like not per, like a, a little bit of a wonky sort of axe. Maybe there's like a chip taken out of it. So like, I guess now this is thinking about shape language. So geometric. And the handle could be a little bit. More kind of like that, maybe. I don't know. So this is all just experimenting. Let's 
shirts. Where's my layers? Again, took a photo. Why are you taking photos of me? I've reset the camera. Like even like I even love this Baymax. Like getting inspiration from that for this big guy. You know, like To be perfectly honest, this is this is the first time I've like taken it this far from like inventing characters. This is gonna be cool. So I'm thinking big, simple shapes. Maybe he's got like a big beard. Little tiny ears. Massive forearms. I really want him to have like big. Big forearms. Because thinking about. This is one thing that I learned. From listening to. Um, Michael. Matesi. About. Um, character. What, is, what are they doing in their daily life? What's going to make them look like them you know why would he have big forearms well he's swinging an axe every day We'll do some variations of him as well. Maybe he's got hair in this one. Yeah, looks pretty generic, I guess, lumberjacky sort of guy. What happens if I start really pushing some of these shapes? Like, can we make his head bigger? I would, I would like to still see his expression. Or maybe All right, then we got this alien and this should be kind of slender. He might even be in like a space suit potentially. Now this is unknowing that this is going to change so much.
Oh, sorry, I'm uh, I'm behind on chat. Uh, Baha, welcome. I'm doing well. How are you doing? That's such a that's such a broad question. Um, look at a bunch of art, like other artists, and see how they do it. Like I might look at say, um, like this reference, and say, okay, now I'm going to do his eyes in that sort of style. Not very circular. Right? And then I'll take that and be like, okay, do I like it? Do I not? Maybe I'll even steal some of his like pointiness of his nose. Right, and then I'll be like, okay, cool. I've taken what I wanted from that. Now, let's have a look at, say, the smooth lines or the, the clear lines of, of this one. Right, so maybe this is just really smooth. Right, just like they've got here. Maybe just like this sleeve here we can do something similar So it's really just mixing and matching, trying to figure out what appeals to me. Really, maybe his ears, are, he's got like big ears or something, I don't know. Because he's more like a friendly character maybe. And this guy's more evil, like the alien, because he's coming down to... Sort of, uh, so he's got his like backpack. Maybe he's got his sort of helmet. He's got more angular features. We, we want it to be more alien. This almost looks too human. And then from here, I might want to have a look at like expressions. So, because he's going to be freaking out, he's going to be surprised, right? So, we can take this here, knock it back, knock his eyebrows. way up maybe his eyes are even more open and I'll tend to do it myself as I'm drawing I'll open my eyes up even more and then like his maybe you want to do like a simplified mouth That looks like he's happy. We want him to be like, uh, what is happening? Uh, 
know, so it's all just exploration and not being tired because that's what I tend to do. I took, I think that he could have more of an expression here, right? Like even push, push stuff even more. Like he's yelling, he's like, ah. Because he's like, this isn't cool, whatever's happening. I'm getting levitated without my consent. Right, so we can start playing around. And then that expression could then we can tra try and translate that into this view here but yeah i guess this is just yeah the a process we do different variations Mini nanobots from Big Hero 6 from the beginning scene have perfect character. I oh know they're great, hey. Uh, Baha, this is the animation pencil in the mega pack under drawing box that comes with Photoshop. You just got to come here and go get more brushes. So, animator pencil. Clutzy, also, I do try to time myself for art pieces, but I never seem to be satisfied when the deadlines come around and I end up spending more days on the same piece. Do you face something similar? You betcha. Especially if there's no time limit. And I'm just being indulgent, aka the Last of Us piece. I could have finished that a lot sooner. Um, if I actually put myself like a deadline. There's something called the Parkinson's law where it's like work will fit the time that's allotted for it. And that actually does really help trim the unnecessary things. But yeah, no, I face that all the time. Yeah, the Avenger is looking a little bit generic, but maybe he doesn't have a mouth. Maybe he's just got. Mark, awesome, got two donuts under your belt, fantastic. Now, next step, draw, sculpting, sculpting a head. If you're drawing Ben Eblen, his thumbs and head would be very big. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is that? Uh, Yeah. 
Is Blender like Australian? Because it's very suspicious how my Blender instructions are Australian. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. Um, Uh, is too small, but just sitting uh, low on his shoulders. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm really, this is just exploration at the moment, Arg. Uh, yeah, Arg, it's a uh, pure ref. Yep. So, wherever it's gone. Where's my pure ref gone? Um, excuse me. Oh, it's right here. Oh, idiot. It's right here. <laughs> Absolute nuff nuff, yeah. Ah, appreciate it, Thunk Guns. Very smart. By the character. Ah, ha, ha. See, yeah, this delay is killing me. I'm missing all sorts. I want him to kind of, yeah, I don't know. He seems like a little bit of a, a gentle giant. This guy's feeling a, feeling, a, yeah, feeling a little bit too Space Jam-like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just stretch like stupid, that's what happens. Yeah, sometimes I start with head thumb guns, start with the head, but yeah, this I think because it's a whole scene and we're just doing it from scratch. Um, and trying to figure out the shape, language, and all that sort of stuff. I think it could be helpful. Look at my bulging sort of eyes.
Well, this guy to feel kind of like unhinged. Like he like loves what he does. you can tell I'm in the zone <laughs> uh, Classy, did you decide did, uh, how much time I'm going to spend on this project? I've got a deadline of the 31st of March. So I would like to get this done in a couple of streams or at least a majority of it done in like a couple of streams. That would be ideal, but I, th I suspect it's going to take longer because I've got other projects that I've got to work on at the same time. So it might be we, we'll pick this up in another couple of weeks or I'll just sort of do a bit on my own and then come back and sort of share what I've, what I've done. Because this is a uh, a commissioned sort of project, so I do have to assign a good amount of time and spend a, a decent chunk of time on it. And unfortunately for streams, it's not streams aren't the most efficient way of working. Um, or maybe I'll do like a no talk stream where there's no like I just won't be as like attentive to chat just to get it done but I enjoy I enjoy streaming so yeah I don't know I think we're going in a, some sort of direction but I don't mind but it, it's yeah it's just generic ideas at the moment it's feeling like Maybe he has like weird, like sharp alien calves or something. I don't know. So yeah, like ARG said, um, yeah, I'm trying to contrast the shapes like pointy, pointy sort of 
harsher shapes, but but at the same time, I don't want him to feel super evil. Uh, even this, like his costume, could be more angular. Yeah, I think we could like look at and like reference animals and stuff for this alien as well. Let's move this onto a new layer and simplify these shapes even more. So let's... Hmm. that kind that's this kind that's all right let's add in let's adjust it a little bit I like a little bit of transfer oh maybe not with this brush there we go that's what's going on capacity pen pressure Weird. I don't hate it though. That is a weird brush. Yeah, maybe not. I just need a, a clean. Something with a little bit of texture mightn't hurt. Texture scale. Scale the texture down. Maybe we scale this up larger so we've got some room to play with. Yeah, there's got to be some. Yeah, nice middle ground there. That's just, yeah. Simple shapes, okay? So round. Him back even more. So I'm drawing inspiration from like Jin Kim.
friendly shapes. Round, round, round. It's not so just like cleaning up the lines can clarify things a lot. I appreciate it, Ag. Yeah, the facial expressions are where it's going to be at, I think to like connect with the character. So we're gonna make sure we get those uh, feeling good. Focus stream will be good, cool. I might, I might experiment with that. So the three word prompt uh, was from the commission. So it's, um, uh, so yeah, Character Design Quarterly gave me a list of three, uh, a list of three words three word prompts basically and i just chose this one because it seemed uh i don't know why there was no real rhyme or reason uh have i do i ever draw while high i i'm never high i've not i've only done that once in my life and it was many 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 years ago so no i mean if you classify coffee that, that could be uh Classified as yes, everybody day. But um, but no. Not against it though, by any means. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. You do you. It fascinates me though, the idea of the, the psychedelics, but no, I have not doubled. It's kind of hunched over, so I'm imagining like a little crease maybe here. Caffeine doesn't count. <laughs> Coffee doesn't count. <laughs> Maybe one day. How's about that? We get us to a million. 
So maybe I shouldn't say this. <laughs> it's like depends. <laughs> I don't know how legal that is. Hypothetically, we get to a million, we we might do something fun. I'm not saying that's what I'll do, but we we'll get a million subs. There we go. Imagine. <laughs> He's feeling cool. He's feeling like kind. He's got very like kind eyes. It's like he's just doing his job. I don't know what's. He seems like the guy that would be abducted. You know, like you. No one would believe him. He's like, I, I bloody swear, I did. I don't. I feel like he's American though. Clutchy, don't bend. Don't say anything like that. Say anything like what? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. He's definitely Canadian. There you go. We can have some fun with textures as well on him, as uh, I think. He's North Polian. <laughs> He's got a bit of Santa Claus, Santa Claus jeans. I don't want to go too much de more detailed than this because I'm not looking to render him today. We're doing exploratory things. <laughs> Watch out for the buttons looking like nipples. Maybe that's what I want it to be. He's uh he's allowed to have his nipples hanging out. This is my character. Give him freedom to do what he wants. What's his name? Maybe they are nipples. He's in Canada. He's very bloody chilly. No, we'll get age restricted. <laughs> there we go. Give him some dimension. They're buttons. Santa Claus doesn't wear jeans. Very good, Mark. Very good. We had my dad's jokes going on. And now he got, he's started to, he's kicked off the dad joke. I can't even see what I'm trying to say. Train. Now I think maybe the axe needs to be bigger. I gotta think how that's gonna fly in the composition though. 
How is that going to work? Good question, Ben. Good question. Oh, arg. How dare you? Not your Santa. <laughs> I must say, I've picked it up from Dad as well. I've gotten older. It's like, yep, that's... I've just... Um, um, my dad. I'm turning into him. And I'm fine with that. Yeah, good to look up like suspender references and that kind of thing. Maybe there's like a. Do they have that kind of thing? Like a pocket sort of thing? I don't know. Let's try this up here. I don't mind this brush. What is it? Bad ash, br <laughs> bad ass brush. Very descriptive. I always tweak these brushes though, from others. I'll either go super simple and just use what Photoshop gives me, or if I go like these more texture-based brushes, I've always got to tweak them just a little bit. I want to start doing a little bit more traditional stuff as well. Bringing this stylized stuff into the traditional land. Whether it be through like oil painting or gouache painting or maybe like doing these character designs and then painting them up in real real life, doing some some sketches. That could be cool. Oh no, <laughs> I've got my resting bitch face when I'm, when I'm concentrating. <laughs> Look at me, I'm, I'm looking at the replay at the moment because I'm trying to draw the white eyes. I'm like doing the same thing. I'll be like, uh, so I don't watch these streams back. This is bloody embarrassing. Mr. Tendy, Ben, your art's amazing. I love you. I appreciate it, Mr. Tendy. It means a lot. Very Mario suspenders. There you go. That's coming out soon. Got to fit in that pop culture somewhere. Fun guns. Ben's going too high quality on the concept sketches. You're 100% right. I'm going too much into detail. But it's fun. I'm sorry. Victoria, happy Monday. 
Happy Monday to you too. I hope you've been doing well. I mean, if I was like working for a studio or whatever, this would be like months and months of work of different iterations and that kind of, I'd imagine, I've never worked for a studio, so I don't know, but what, what I can imagine is, yeah. I can, I can sense myself doing he looks happy looks too happy this is scared so that lip will come down there we go see look at check this out this is the crazy thing our, 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 our eyes and brain same thing kind of just these little lines here All right you get rid of this this is happy Right? This is like scared out of your mind. Or like, it's crazy, just that little change. That's why these big simple shapes are huge. Because it can easily just get really ambiguous. It's almost like Yosemite Sam-esque. Um, let's try my script. Let's give it a quick whirl. I want this color. No, bam, 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 I want it brighter. No, I want it darker. Uh-oh, it's not working. Brighter, 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 brighter. I like. Yeah, save a, bit, save a bit of time, maybe. Probably not. Don't be embarrassed, Ben. You have a nice face. That means a lot, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> I still said that. Yeah, I'm in the future for a lot of people. It's a Monday afternoon. Shit, it's 4 p.m. Bloody hell, it's going fast. This is fun. I'm honest. I honestly look forward to Mondays these days because of The Last of Us. Yeah, I've got to catch up. I've got to catch up on The Last of Us. When doing the final, don't forget the surprised element and focus too much on the scared. Very good point, ARG. All right, so maybe this is too. Maybe it's just like. Uh, what? Like, like, yeah. And what we, I'm going to suspect before I put the lines down, I'm going to try something. I'm going to convert him to confused. Now he's confused just by that eyebrow. He's like, uh, excuse me, what? Very good point, ARG. Now, let's play with the alien's face. Because, I mean, honestly, like, the characters are going to be the big part of it, right? It's character design cordially that I'm doing this for. So, I want to make sure that they're sort of appealing. They make sense. So, this alien bloke. Let's... Do we go back to Pinterest? Yeah, let's go back to Pinterest. A safari. Pinterest. A problem occurred, of course it did. Let's look at animals. I want to try this. What animals are like alien looking? Or that we can kind of maybe incorporate? Subtlety has big impact, 100%.
Mm-mm. What's happening, Pinterest? Don't do it to me. What are we doing? Let's nuke that one. Let's go back. Pinterest. All right. What? So this is the best thing about Pinterest. Look, look what I've just saved. And look, it's given me all these environments. You've given me Rob's Repels work. It's beautiful. Bush babies. Fantastic. Yeah. Look at this dude. How freaking cool are these? Look at this tripper. Bloody hell. I, like, I love the hands. Look at that. How cool is he? I almost like... um. Oh, look at this little evil looking bugger. Look at Imagine waking up to that. Shit. I mean, that's an alien right there. I could just copy that thing. <laughs> oh, he's had one too many. Look at him. Oh, man. Octopus, yep. Tazia. Yeah, the octopus would be interesting. I'm trying to keep it uh, humanoid. We can take some things maybe from the octopus. It's like menacing, even like some of the art, like that uh, that brow. I don't, I'm not even sure what you would call that. Like some spot, like even some of these spiky things. Like a more menacing looking dude. Oh, so it's called a Tarsier. Okay. What else? Like... Um, what do you reckon? Like bats, maybe? Yeah, they're cute looking, though. Look at him. He's bloody adorable. That's creepy as hell. But I also want to cuddle with it oh what's this it's like hairless cats these are wicked looking creatures these ones I mean look at this guy I'm not going to say what that reminds me of that is gross and cool all at the same time get some ideas for like the eyes even the head shape maybe even more more of like a feline shape more of like a predator like look at this guy this is like mew too <laughs> that's got some character to it that's wicked you got a little chunky boy All right, let's see what we can do with these. Axolotl. Actually, yeah, good, good, good. If it's what I'm thinking, axolotl. Oh, it's too cute. They're too cute. But they've got some, like, cool... Yeah, maybe we can use some of this kind of deal. Because, I mean, they're, they look alien themselves. What's, um... 
Have you guys seen this? The shoe bill. Not shoe bill. Shoe bill stalk. This is a freaking cool looking bird. Look at that dude. And you know, like, you have to, they're like the real life hippogriffs from Harry Potter. You've got to, like, bow to them. And then they'll, like, accept, like, a pat from you or whatever. Like, look at this dude. It's just, like, that's scary as hell. Some may say that looks cute, but that's just, like, do I eat your face or not? I mean, look at that. It doesn't look real. It looks like a weird character design. I'll take that back. And be like, ah, do a few more iterations on it. It doesn't look quite, it doesn't look believable. <laughs> Anglerfish with the bolt. Yeah, the anglerfish is cool as. Yeah, so did I, Victoria. I thought they were fake as well. Do you know the coolest prehistoric sound um, that I heard? So we have like emus here, right? You can just go up to like wildlife parks and you can just walk next to one of them. They scare the shit out of me personally. I don't trust them. They're, they're, but the noise that they make... It sounds, it sounds like the noise that um, the T-Rex makes when it gets close. It's like that guttural, like, do, 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 sort of, it's creepy, man. I didn't realize, and they have this, like, layer of their eye that, like, folds back to protect, like, if they go through a fence, and, like, you feed them through a fence or whatever, they're, like, eye, there's, like, this white protective layer on their eye, just, like, flicks up, and yeah, I feel like everyone knows a person that looks like this. They've not quite got their life together yet, but they're, they're a lovely person. <laughs> Mum, the AA. What are you talking about? AA. 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 <laughs> Look at him. What a creepy looking dude. Man. Yeah, right, I'll, I'll bring him in. Oh. It's a crazy world we live in, hey? Look at that. That doesn't look real. Okay. I've got to do that one. Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe it could be grumpy. He's just like, oh, he's just like a real grumpy looking alien. He's just doing his job. <laughs> My neighbor looks like that. <laughs> oh. Thank you, mum. You saw a video of a shoe bill break glass at the zoo, buddy. Hell. Mm. Have you seen the video of that uh, silverback gorilla? Like, just charge at the glass and crack it? Uh-uh. Gotta respect the, the silverback gorillas. You do not want to mess with them, I reckon. Okay, let's think about the alien. So I want angular. I want him to... So maybe we start with simpler, simpler shapes even. Let's save this. Save, save, save. Don't... So let's get our our alien reference. Bop, 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 bop. Oh shit, we got a lot, didn't we? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And the cool thing about pure F is that it grids it up for you in just like one click. That's why I'm just getting them all down here. All right, select them all, bring them over to like here, say, and then images arrange. Optimal. Bam. 
All right. I actually love the eyes of like the cat here, like something like that. That's got like character to it. We can do some cool things maybe with lighting. Well, those are going to be pretty far in the background. Okay, even that, just the shadow in there can really do some cool stuff. So yeah, welcome. Triangles. Yep, that's what I'm seeing here. Triangles, angles. But then we can kind of temper that with some curves because we still want it to feel a little bit friendly-ish, like appealing. We don't want to be super um, too... Oh, God. Come back, Photoshop. Thank you. All right. Let's just try some like straight on head shapes. What if we just did a triangle head shape? What does that give us? It gives us a triangle. Mm. Let's try some of these. Does he have like like mini ear sort of things? Because all of the, all the aliens are like bald, right? The, the typical alien is like, yep, you're bald, and you've got like just slots for ears. Take a little bit from the shoe bill, like he's a little bit more on the grumpy side. I think I've got to give him a mouth. You just like, hmm. Just like super tiny little ear things. I don't know. This is all exploration. Look at my face right now. I just realized I'm trying to channel an angry alien. <laughs> actually I actually really like this sort of crest on the top of the shoe bill's head. Whether that's like a thing that we carry over I want him to be a little bit cheeky. He's like, hey, this is my favorite thing to do. It's harvest time.
kind of looking a little generic, but it's all right. Got to get out the, the boring ideas. Apes are the scariest animals. Yeah, I agree. They'll rip your face off in two seconds. Uh, so, yeah, the YouTube video is going really, really well. Thank you for asking. It's going, it's going well. I've been editing it all last week, trying to get, get it feeling right, shooting B-roll, breaking. I accidentally broke this guy because I was trying to, uh, like, do, uh, like, hold it and shoot B-roll, and then I dropped it, but it still works because it's LED. So that's okay. And the carpet needed a vacuum anyway. So, silver linings. I say a vacuum needed a carpet or a carpet? The carpet needed a vacuum. So I'm trying to maybe bring in Uh, CMG, not a bad idea. Maybe like a yellowy green. Got to think about the background though. How is it going to stand out? Because if we got yellowy green, that's what I'm kind of thinking a lot of what the background's going to be. With like the forest and that kind of thing. So you don't necessarily want him to, unless we do more of like a barren sort of woodlands kind of vibe. I don't know. Colors will come way later. They're... They're not easier, but they're more manageable once we've figured out this stuff. You have a good sleep. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, I think if you're going for animal eyes, uh, should be placed more on the side planes of the face rather than so humanoidly on the front. Yeah. Let's do some iterations, right? Instead of just deleting and erasing. So we've got one here. Let's try a different one. So maybe we'll... Like you mentioned, put a more on the side here. layer that's what i want to make a, a script that like how netflix says are you still watching this i want to be like are you still on the right layer like it times if you're on a layer for a very long time and then you happen to just swap for whatever reason and it's like are you sure you want to be drawing on this layer that would save me a lot of time
I'm taking some cues from the, the cat's nose a little bit here. There's something to this kind of cheeky smile. Potentially more cat-like nose could be cool. Using what you have as the mouth, as the top. Oh, I, oh what do you mean? Is that the bottom of the nose? I think like the bottom lid can do a lot for the expression as well, I found. We can make this guy look a little bit unhinged. Like he's a little bit too excited. Like you've got a... Uh, like he's, you've got his mates... And this is just like their normal routine. It's like, all right, I've got to harvest some, some humans. And everyone's like, all right, let's go. And he's just like a little bit too excited about it. And they're like, all right, calm down, Barry. And you just, just relax, huh? You bloody weirdo. Oh, get you, get you, get you. Okay, we can do that as another iteration. can play around with the eye the eye shape as well <laughs> like he's full like like this guy here he's just like oh yeah this is the best day ever mm, not a massive fan of it but maybe So let's, let's 
So it's like the top of the nose, you're saying? See what he would look like from the side. Yep, definitely klutzy. If you really want to experiment with the head design, you could flip. Yeah, we could do it. We could flip him upside down, definitely. Yeah, I think I've got this guy. I like him. I like how he's looking. It's just, yeah, I'm not familiar with uh, how the old uh, aliens should look. Or what makes them look cool because this is pretty like stock standard right and it might we might just go with this eventually i don't know but i want to try out some ideas This guy. Do the old flipperoo. Is he like a chunky boy alien? <laughs> I don't know. about this cone head one. <laughs> don't 
kind of hate it though. Thank you so much, AIG. Appreciate you. Hopefully see you in the next one. You have a good sleep. This guy sort of feels almost like... He's kind of cute. But he doesn't want to be known like he's... He's just like, don't mess with me. I may look cute, but I'll rip your bloody face off. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Clancy? <laughs> this one's too cute. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Oh, maybe we have to go the the more traditional alien look. Maybe he's got like a helmet of some sort to make him distinct. More of like a... He's like a foot soldier. Yeah, there's like hieroglyphics or something on his helmet.
It looks like Mario Kart. Whatever that dude is. Ah, uh, there you go. Uh, Mark, so uh, characters, character design quarterly uh, reached out and they want me to do like a tutorial based on like uh, a three word prompt. So they gave me these three words and they said, yeah, go for it. I was like, all right, can I stream it? And they're like, yep. I was like, sick. So this is where we are now. Yeah, I do want to think about the aliens like... Maybe it's not like an anthropomorphic sort of alien. Maybe it's like... I mean, we could go way out there. And it could have its own like little, it could be like a floating little dude. Maybe it has like human hands or whatever. But it's like floating. I don't know if that fits in the same world as this guy. I don't know, maybe. It's got like some sort of propulsion happening at the bottom. So it's like if they're aliens, maybe they've like evolved out of needing legs. They're literally just this. Or we just hide what the body looks like. Maybe the body is just like a little worm thing inside it, <laughs> but you don't see that.
too cartoony. I appreciate it, Mark. Thank you. I don't hate this sort of plate. Something a bit different, at least. Keep screwing up the same thing. Hands not the same size in my full uh, body studies, as, you, as in like the same size as each other.
yeah can be tricky especially if the pose is foreshortened Maybe I'll experiment with making big hands instead of uh, big heads for my studies. See, yeah, that's a way to do it. agree with you more sometimes.
I don't hate this guy. He's kind of. I know he looks like uh, he's just said that typical alien sort of thing. He's like a little annoying bully looking guy. Or we can make it a little bit clearer that there is like rocket propulsion here somehow. I don't know, maybe not rocket propulsion because they're aliens, but some sort of something. Let's clean him up. Let's see what. He's the evolved character from Cut the Rope. I don't know that one. That's right, Mark. There is no special pill.
try my script again.
Yeah, his whole body needs some work. It's just like just first iteration, so that's fine. So if we were to blueprint this guy out. Let's change the view. Uh, Abby, what do you think about artists and animators like Luke Carl saying that music is not good for workflow slash by cutting out music you will see improvement immediately, etc. How do you manage distractions? Well, this stream at the moment, I'm not looking for optimal workflow, right? This is more fun exploring with you guys and that kind of thing. But if I was by myself, I'd have music on. But if I was looking to concentrate, I would, uh, like if I was really struggling with something or I just wanted to get more analytical and that kind of thing, I would throw on, I think it's like 40 hertz white noise. And I'll just have that going. So it's nothing specific. It's just white noise going. Um, but yeah, I think there's some truth to it. But also, I'm not a huge fan of someone telling me exactly what to do in a more in like a very dogmatic way. Because I remember hearing that, and it was just like, yeah, okay. There's there's like modes you can go, like gears. If you're like animating or like doing something very um. Like for example, if I'm coding, right? I'll uh, I oftentimes need to turn the music off for me to concentrate. On a particular problem that i'm trying to figure out or if i'm trying to figure out the 3d forms and they're just not working we'll turn the music off and i'll, I'll come and concentrate but say if we when we get to the point of um like rendering and that kind of thing that i can kind of switch off uh that kind of side of my brain and just go for it and now that, that's when i can sort of easily put music on and that kind of thing so there's definitely truth to it but you've also got to find what works for you as well but yeah milk carl i mean you can't really argue with it i mean you can argue with the guy but he's he's phenomenal
Music while drawing, are you insane? I can't concentrate on two things at once. Milk, yeah, I know. Imagine if you had streaming back then. You'd be like, what the fuck? You're crazy. This is not efficient work time or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Try it with and without. Do sessions with music, without music, that sort of stuff. Mark, what kind of music do you listen to when you aren't worried about copyright strikes? Uh, all sorts, man. All sorts. I'm very eclectic. Like, it, it could it could be anything from, like, 50 Cent, Bob Marley, Hilltop Hoods. Do you guys know Hilltop? Have you guys heard of Hilltop Hoods before? I'm pretty sure they're well... Known, but uh, they're actually from here, from Adelaide. But uh, like the nosebleed section, that's one of their big songs. Um, from that to Blink One Eight Two, Limp Biscuit, um, classical, jazz, piano, like all sorts. It really depends on my mood. Arms of some sort. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Recommend giving him a go. Nosebleed section. Go give that a whirl. It's a classic. Oh, where are you from, Mark?
David Guerin. All right, let's have a squeeze. Well, lovely pots. Oh, Burton. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy looks familiar. Very cool. Never even got an idea now for like adding these kind of ball and socket kind of joints, maybe. Just so you can like articulate something. Doesn't really, I don't know. Maybe you need the arms. And if so, maybe they'd be attached like, oh, I don't know. Would they be at the side or would they be like at the front? Like kind of. Almost like a like a crab sort of deal. That could be fun. This could be fun. Nice. Hilltop hoods. Abby, Hilltop hoods uh, is so good. I saw them in Bendigo once. Oh, awesome. Very cool. Yeah, they're a, they grew up, from what I understand, only a, a little, little way away from here. But that, that nosebleed section, oh, such a banger. It just gets me going every time. I want to figure out how we can, if everyone's got Spotify, if I can like share a live feed just of the song title, like on my website. So when I start streaming, you guys can listen. Like I'm not broadcasting it. You guys just happen to see what I'm listening to. And if there's a link to then play my playlist and we sync it up at the same time and then i just have this music going on stream that could be a one way of doing it pins king is nose please <laughs> fun fact Never had a nosebleed before. Now 
know, these might look like nipples, but they're not. Just wait. They are arms. There we go. There's my... way of finding the cylinder that you hit it no matter no, it looks too friendly you know it fun guns What are we doing, Epidemic Sam? Are we playing music or are we not playing music? What's going on? Okay. All right, might go another half hour. And then we'll call it a day. See if we can figure out. Like... Maybe, yeah, maybe, I think he might need hands, like anthropomorphic hands, or maybe, could be cool, I reckon. Have a look maybe some of these kind of, that could be kind of creepy but cool like pause almost I'm a little bit like a Pokemon at the moment. I'll let it slide for now, but we gotta fix this. <laughs>
Now, if he's got a gun, where is he going to put that? So maybe there's like a holster here. Or it's like, yeah, there's like a holster behind him. So it like charges it up as well or something, I don't know. Yeah, this guy, this guy's coming together, I like him. Uh, you're from Nairobi, Kenya. Very cool. Ah, uh, the acorn. So we're going to add in, hopefully, uh, a, a little squirrel. So let's do that as the last thing. Yeah, it is happening in the woods. He's a lumber lumberjack guy. It still is happening in the woods. I just wanted to get the main characters done. All right, clear them up. And say, okay, then we can place them wherever we want. <laughs> Let's use my script. Let's go, bada bing, bada boom. Shabang. Fill it. Lighter, fill it, lighter, fill it. has like a reptile sort of feel to him. I'm going to do a little homage to the, all these wrinkles. Maybe. So it's still playful, it's not super serious. But he's still got some sharp edges. His hands are a little bit sharper. This comes to a sharp point. I mean, this could be the beginning of a story where he abducts him and then they like become friends. So I didn't want him like super duper angry maybe. So then if we line them up, we have this guy here, take this guy, move him up here, maybe that's the right scale, maybe he's like down here or something, I'll leave him about there maybe. So then if we bring back composition that we're going to put them in 
Oh oh. So we gotta figure out next. Yeah, this could be cool. Because me putting him in here, I could have him like tilt back a little bit to give some dimension to show that he like like he's whining in a fish, right? So I can have him like tilt back, have a little bit of movement. Right, so I might write a little note. And he's got like his hands like holding a gun and like whatever. Yeah, something I don't know but we've got to figure out the composition so we've come this far I might change the alien completely I like this guy he's pretty chilled they make him a bit smaller in comparison Ben's so basic, only two eyes on his aliens. As far as you know. What about these things? There you go. I've not finished it yet, my friend. Probably not. Okay, Abby, I always th thought drawing hairless cats was super difficult. Like, how do you make it uh, look like meat and bones being pushed around in a loose plastic bag? <laughs> and how do you make the skin look loose? Yeah, it is a... A lot of it has to do, actually, with some of the... Uh, like the silhouette So here for example if I was going to make this look like wrinkles on his head I would l try and figure out ways to sell that this is a like skin Right, so I would Bunch this up Right, so then that starts to give the appearance of sort of like loose skin. And it's all in this silhouette. It's it's giving you information that, oh, okay, it's a 3D volume. It's breaking outside of his head, if you know what I mean. Whereas if I just did, I actually quite like that, so I might keep that. But if I just did this, it's kind of like, ah, oh, it doesn't really, it could just be like on the surface of his skin or whatever. With rendering, you can help, it can help do that. But I might um, bring back some of that. Sort of looser skin. So it gives him a, a forever pissed off sort of vibe. <laughs> Forever saggy. All right, but yeah, it's a, if you know what I mean. Like it's it's a combination of a bunch of things, but this can really help this this silhouette. And 
these like crossover lines as well showing what's in front of another like this roll of skin right has got volume if we were just to like wireframe it out this roll of skin has got volume and so does this one right and so does this and so does everything so there's things that are going to be in front and behind of each other so this is going to be in front of this one is going to be in front of this thing right so having that t intersection here just showing that it's very clearly in front of one another can help a lot does that make sense um, speaking of reptiles did you know that cats and snakes are weirdly similar both are sneaky like to eat rodents have fangs and weird eyes and both hiss interesting cats and snakes also meow and purr and hate cucumbers <laughs> uh, alice welcome welcome you just come to the tail end Uh, my dog is not impressed with the cat uh, death stare at the bottom left corner. <laughs> uh, Alice, yeah, we've been having some fun. Back you get. Um, creating characters, scenes, ideas. All right, so having having a good good bit of fun with it. Just finishing up a uh, stream, I think we are talking about cats and how to make skin look loose. They have venom. Yes. Yeah, look, the, the stream is coming to an end. I'm just sort of, uh, we'll leave it there, I reckon. We'll sort of come back next time. I might do a little bit of work on my own. Um, and yeah, keep progressing with this. But it was fun. From nothing, we uh, were able to get old mate, I don't know what we're going to call him. We've got him and then we've got the beginnings of something here. Something still isn't clicking for me. But um, yeah, got the beginnings of something here. I won't have the cat's bad mouth. <laughs> uh So let's have a look at some of these. Look, I love this stuff. We can get there. We will get there. Oh. Uh, Thunguns, ideas for what proportions to exaggerate of my studies. I'm thinking heads, hands, feet. Would any other parts work? I like to exaggerate like the, the forearm sometimes or the tricep just for something different where muscles grow the shoulders traps ah, sorry like uh, lats can also be exaggerated depending on the, the character because it, it can exaggerate anything really uh, PowerPoint pen can you give a quick tip on how to stylize the eyes um, real oh, it's hard because it's such a it depends what style that you want to do simple shapes really is the biggest thing like here this is this like i want to keep this real simple real simple simple shape right and all it is it's not a perfect circle Right, it's not a perfect circle, but I might start it off like that. Then I'll just throw the iris in. And then I'll start adding this top lid that might cut in a little bit to that silhouette of the that perfect circle. Which can give it a little bit more dimension and a little bit less uniformity, I guess you could say. Right, then we might even cut this side off where the skin might fold down into sort of the bags of the eyes 
and then just throw in the eyebrow. All right, so that's one way of doing it. There's millions of ways of doing it, but that's what I was thinking about with this guy here. All right, Klutzy, time for my lunch. Got to go. Excited to see this project. Um, do you try to live stream it all? I will, unless I come to getting close to the deadline and I haven't gotten it to where I want it to yet, then I'm going to have to do some on my own. But I'm going to do a little bit of a mix of both. Um, but it'll be fun. Catch you later, Mark. Uh, Legrand, hello. I'm late, it seems. I'll watch it later. Catch you later, Legrand. Uh, yeah, a little bit late. But time zones, what are you going to do? Uh, Mark Vart, schedule the stream so I know you're there. Today was serendipitous. Basically, every week around, uh, or whenever, whenever I started, is going to be a pretty solid bet that I'll be streaming. That's my goal. All right, but the goal for this week, for me, a big one, is getting this YouTube video out. So that's going to be fun uh, to get that done get feedback from people before i before i post it um because i really want to just create a library on my youtube channel of just like uh, the best videos i can make you know um because it's an art form in itself like editing and scripting it out and all that kind of thing so yeah enjoying the process nonetheless but look i reckon that's it we started with nothing here we are, we got some beginnings of uh, Woodlands, Thief, Surprise. Feel free to give your own uh, interpretation of what that is. So, the idea, Woodlands, Thief, Surprise. It's a prompt, make a scene out of it from characters. It's bloody tricky. So if you're looking for a challenge, give it a whirl. Highly recommend it. But yes, it's going to be fun to, uh, to keep exploring this. I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, because it's about that time. I'm getting bloody hungry. And look, guys. Thanks. So, oh, before we go, I guess we do uh, uh, my business time. So if you like this sort of stuff, I do have uh, where I explain all my thinking on Gumroad. So I'll just crack it open here. Shameless self-promotion, you gotta do it, it's paying the bills. Uh, how do I show you? Right, so eight hour real-time walkthrough. Got a bunch of great reviews. Um, I take you through the drawing of this guy from sort of sketch to render. It's a tutorial, it's a walkthrough. I'm working on a course right now as well, which will be um, which will be way like a more structured and uh, what you call it? Yeah, it'll be a course. This is a this is a walkthrough tutorial, which I think is um, I'm I'm super proud of it. And I think it's it's uh, a good good one to pick up if it's if this is something that you want to get into, and you don't mind me rambling on for a good eight hours. But apart from that, we got that we got uh, my website beneblin.com, where I write on my experiences with drawing art i've got my live content calendar up here which i've got there's a bug that i'm going to be fixing today so this has been updated a lot since when i first posted all this um just my thoughts on on what i'm working on got my podcast make now think later which is all about the business side of content creation uh my experiments with my good friend francis lee so we're both building audiences and, and trying to make a living from it. So, uh, yeah, check that out and sign up to my newsletter as well. If that's something that you're interested in, I try and uh, just 
I want to do it fortnightly, but if if the content isn't there, if it's not valuable enough, I'm not just going to send you an email just because basically all the resources that I've found that were interesting to me based on what I'm working on, any updates um, in those newsletters as well, but it's basically I try and keep it as ultra minimal as possible um, just to the good stuff, just to the stuff that, uh, that I think will be beneficial to you and that I found interesting as well. And I think that's it. You know where to find me, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, here on YouTube. There's gonna be a lot more stuff here on YouTube. And with that said, I'm out. And I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya.